the Senate was taken from the many and given to the few. Those who wore the golden wreath grew sick with every kind of wickedness. They were filled with greed, deceit, and malice. They condemned and enslaved. They betrayed their friends and murdered those they loved. seals, the first of which was broken. And behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and he went forth to conquer. filled with smoke and blood. Honestly, wow, <laughs> holy shit, what an intro to the game. Everyone, welcome to a brand new live stream where we're going to be playing as um, the White Hunts. And the challenge of this campaign is to only use cavalry, but not for the first five to ten turns. But well, actually, I, I might actually do it from the get-go. Uh, yeah, because I've tried this before. It's kind of harder with cavalry from the get-go because you don't have that many cavalry. And yeah, it would be better to just keep the infantry for a while. Until we recruit the sufficient amount of cavalry we need to conquer the lands of our enemies. Well, we're not going to conquer shit. We're going to raise stuff to the ground. Actually, with the White Huns, it is better to just keep sacking settlements instead of actually raising them. Uh, because you have two times the amount of income from sacking, looting, and raiding. And, but yeah, the, the actual hunt, it's better for these guys to actually raise the settlements because every time you raise a settlement, you're gonna give them extra 25 growth for their ports. Uh, actually, let me decrease the sound a little bit more. Speech could be high. Effects, music, holy shit, what a music, dude. Hey, pawn effects, how you doing, dude? Uh, right, so, yeah, we're gonna be playing at the Void Hunts. As the White Hunts, they are in the northern part of Iran. I think they are in Afghanistan. I think, kind of. Yeah, it is Afghanistan. And um, yeah, so basically these guys, their cultural trait is Scourge of the Gods, which is enemy morale minus 10 when fighting Christian factions. Oh, oh shit. This is actually not good for us. It's good for the Huns. It's not good for the White Hunts. Hey, hey, dude. How you doing, man? How you doing, huddle guy? Um, so, yeah, the faction trait is extra 100% income from sacking, looting, and raiding settlements. Technically, we cannot loot because looting means sacking and occupying at the same time. Well, yeah, kind of sacking, occupying at the same, like, at the exact same moment, but it's called looting. We cannot technically loot. I don't. That that has to be a mistake. Um, so integrity plus one integrity for every war being prosecuted. All right, that is going to be easy because the Persians actually have tons of vassals, and we start that war with them. And morale plus twenty versus Eastern empires, which is basically all of the Persians. Um, yeah, I'm a betrayer to my own race. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so. 
Yeah, auto save to cloud, battle realism, fuck that bullshit, battle time limit, nope. And let's start this shit. Hopefully there is enough interest in this game because this game is absolutely amazing. It's one of the most underrated Total War games ever. Although I can't understand why people don't like it that much. But yeah, holy shit, dude. This game is freaking amazing. Like the battles in this yeah, was filled with smoke are probably the mud. Like the battle systems, in my opinion, like how good the battles the are, it's one of the best Total War games death. ever. They took what they needed and left their enemies. Okay, I'm gonna walk. shut up so we can watch this together. The Huns were free. They rode and fought and lived. Fear built Roman walls. They were right to be afraid. Behold a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Those with gold offered it by the wagon. The Huns took it and allowed them to live in fear, at least until they returned. of the four winds prayed to him of the eternal sky they made ready for war Damn, you bro. represent the bold vanguard of the mighty hephthalite empire whilst your countrymen wage a fierce war against the gupta empire in the east your armies sweep westwards in a never-ending search for new lands to conquer and new wealth to acquire. To the south awaits the Sassanid Empire, backed by its numerous allies and puppets. Undoubtedly, your path towards the Persian heartland will be arduous, as this most fertile of regions will not be given up without a fight. Oh, However, that's for sure. Tensions with the Eastern Roman Empire occupy the minds of the Sassanid rulers. Use this to your advantage and strike while their backs are turned. These lands are full of enemies. Go forth and vanquish them. Let all know the strength of the White Huns. Okay, mm, mission issued. Survive until the following date. Spring of 400. That is, I think... Um... Every year it's like eight, like four seasons, eight turns, I think. Well, obviously it's four seasons, but it's around eight turns, so uh, 40 turns until we get that. Yeah, get that. So we start with 15k, and we got a healthy amount of horse cavalry in each of these forces, except this one. But this one we can upgrade their speed, I think, by five. Yeah, let's upgrade them. Uh, I'm kind of tempted. Look at this guy's fucking upkeep. 550. But, yeah, holy fuck. This guy is, like, insane. It's mainly because of his melee damage. It's, like, mostly... No, it's not mostly arm piercing. It's, like, 16 arm piercing, but still. For 550 upkeep, this motherfucker better be a... Better be Thanos. Like, snap... Like, wipe people with a... Snap of his finger for 550 upkeep. That is crazy. But so yeah, these guys, um, the White Hunts, have one of the best horse well, the best horse archer in any Total War games ever, which is the Spet Zeon Archers. Well, they're really expensive. Uh they got excellent rate of fire, excellent armor, excellent missile block chance. 50 for the horse archer, this these numbers are insane. 54 melee attack, 32 melee damage, uh, 8 of it is armor piercing, 
32 charge bonus, 32 middle defense, 75 armor, 224 health, morale 44, 45, speed 90, missile damage 49, which it, 12 of it is actually armor piercing, and 25 ammunition. Uh, these guys have rapid advance, which is going to increase their speed uh, for 30 seconds by 50%. They got the precision shot, which is going to increase the missile damage by 50%, but it's going to give them fatigue. Uh, we should only use this if we have to. They got four different shots. Basic shot, flaming shot, which is really good against uh, cavalry and elephants. Although we're probably not going to go up against elephants anytime soon. Whistling shots, which is good for decreasing the stats of enemies, especially morale. But you got to bear in mind, you should only use it when you're... 100% sure you're only going to hit enemy units because the negative field morale could break your own forces if you're not too careful. And also the heavy shots, which is uh, pretty good against infantry because it does have bonus versus infantry and more armor piercing damage, which is going to cut through heavily armed units. They are resistant to fatigue. <laughs> awesome. Um, they can hide in forest. Firewall moving and Parthian shots, which means this unit can fire all around and not just in front of itself. Basically, 360, 360, uh, 360 shot that we have in Warhammer 3. Basically, let's just compare this guy to like a what is this medium melee cav? They got 34 more melee attack. Uh, well, obviously less melee defense, but more charge bonus. 60 more armor, 1 less health, 9 more morale, more speed. Well, these guys have like 3 ammunition, but yeah, it does a lot of armor. I think, yeah, 50 armor piercing. Holy shit. Um, yeah, 3 ammunition. It's not that much. These are the steep lancers. They do like a lot of charge bonus. Yeah, 200. But they don't do that much damage, and their middle defense is absolutely shit. Um... So the f for the first battle, I'm actually going to use these guys just so I can auto resolve. I don't want to fight this first battle. It is against five units. Yeah, I mean we can fight this first battle. I think we should. Yeah, fucking get rid of all of them. Yeah, get rid of all of the infantry. I know I could use them for a while, but nah, it is what it is. The challenge is only horses. Only cavalry. Right. Okay, let me actually turn up the music a little bit. Uh, it's too low. Master and music. Effects. They're... Okay, that's, that's good. Alright, so let's do this first battle. I'm going to initiate the attack with this guy. We can go into in-camp stance at 25% movement. I have to fight every battle almost manually. Unless we don't really need to. It's probably not going to be the case for a while. we got to fight almost every battle manually. And the most basic archer we can recruit in our armies is... Okay, we don't have any of it. Is this guy. Honic horse archers. They are also really good. They're not as good as the... Step Zeon archers, but they're still pretty good. You know, almost as much ammunition, a little bit, a little bit less morale, health, armor, and yeah, definitely these guys are definitely better. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive in terms of uh, upkeep, but they are miles better than these guys. Um, for now, I'm probably gonna just get Honic Horse archers for now, just so I have, uh, you know, a couple of horse archers that I can use here and there. Let's build a warrior camp because warrior camp is the building that is going to give us the steps on archers. That's going to unlock the recruitment of these guys. Uh, one of the bad things early on that we're not using any infantry is that we have to use a couple of our hordes near each other. And if you have hordes near each other, they're going to lose 20% money and 15 food. That means all of these guys are going to be or not. Yeah, they're going to be kind of short in food. Although, this guy's not going to be short on food. He's going to be short on food, though. He is not going to be short on food. 129 food. That is really good. Okay. I need to make sure to be out of range of these guys and them. Okay. 
and also go on to in-camp stance. There we go. We need some Honic Archers. I think we can recruit two at any given time. Unless we have this building. That is going to give us one extra recruitment capacity. Or, when you upgrade that, that is going to give us one extra recruitment capacity as well. Hey, Alfie, how are you doing, dude? Thank you. Appreciate it, man. I think I'm going to have a pretty, you know, fun time playing this. Because Attila definitely has to be one of my favorite Total Wars. We can auto-resolve, auto-resolve, but I'm not going to auto-resolve. Because these guys are going to sally out. They're going to sally out. They're idiots. Never catch you with my new schedule. Um, the thing is, I haven't been streaming that much. Um, but it's cool, dude. I mean, you're here now, which is which is amazing. You know, we gotta have some fun playing Attila. I would love to like spread some love for Attila because this game like deserves a lot more love, bro. Like honestly, seems a bit like Rome 2. It is basically the upgrade, the updated version of Rome 2. I think it was supposed to be like a DLC for Rome. I mean, I'm kind of glad it's not because it's and Rome 2 had better campaigns. This one is just a better game. Again, because Rome was pretty shit, most people actually hated Attila, but myself included. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like Attila when it came out. But I started to love this game because it's freaking amazing. I was gonna ask Rome and Rome 2 were on sale last week. Did you recommend any for someone who likes Medieval 2? Uh, definitely Rome 2, bro. Look, Rome 2 is amazing. Like, it has like tons of great campaigns. Like, the campaigns of Rome 2 are obviously way better than Attila um fuck we only have six horse archers for now the enemy has been spotted. that is okay let's just bring all of the horse archers right over here we got three spetsion archers these are freaking artilleries well they're not artillery artilleries but they're really good um but yeah i i don't recommend attila if you don't have rome 2 get rome 2 first because Rome 2 has a couple of uh, free campaigns. They're not even DLC. Uh, they're really good. They're really good. Like Empire Undivided, I think, is one of the free update things uh, Rome 2 got over the years. And it, it's pretty good. Again, in my opinion, get Rome 2 first. And then if you wanted to play another, another game after Rome 2, get Attila. Because Attila has a mod called... Uh, it's basically medieval 3 until medieval 3 comes uh, it's called medieval 1212 ad uh and it's freaking amazing it's probably one of the best mods out there for any total war games ever it's a pretty decent mod um yeah basically it is medieval 3 i i say it is medieval 3 because it is medieval 3 again until medieval 3 actually comes let's go flaming shots I need to destroy this watchtower. Just so I can move in. Gonna lose some units for sure. Actually, don't, 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 don't go in. Don't go in. Okay, we're gonna charge them in. They got one spear. I don't know where the spear is. Spear is hidden, actually. But I'm gonna go in. Fuck some archers. In Rome 1, even the remastered, I'm playing it actually right now. Rome 2 is cool, but I don't like it that much. Uh, well, it's it kind of hit or miss because I don't. I I love Rome 2 back in the day, even though it was shit. It had the, it had like tons of bugs, but it's pretty good. But in my opinion, Attila in every single aspect, again not the the aspect of campaigns that themselves, but like economy. Like the buildings you can build, how like how deep your empire building is, it's a lot more deeper than um, Rome 2, and that is a fact. Oh shit, the spirit is up there actually. Okay, let's go kill the archers. Horse units are gonna melt these guys. It's not even, it's not even close. Okay, let's go kill these horses, and for that I need flaming shots. Yeah, this fucking tower is gonna kill some units. Um, they are not gonna kill anyone because they're running away. Ah, oh, this guy's at the back. Good. Our general is under attack. Warriors, 
Hmm, I think we gotta keep the horse archers at the back, because, yeah, I... I don't like this. That is middle of the fence. Oh my god, I forgot to check what kind of trace we got. The enemy are losing their advantage. Okay, bring the horse archers in, just so we can kill their spears. Oh, you motherfuckers. We have destroyed the enemy tower. Okay, I have fucked up big times. <laughs> Guys, get the fuck back. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that was a that was a shitty charge. I kind of expect them to come out. I think they only come out if they have superior numbers, which they don't have it in this battle. Dude, that was a shit charge. <laughs> I mean, we destroyed the tower, so that's that's all right. Counts for some something. Okay, activate the precision shots. Are we expecting to get medieval three? I I, I just don't know, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. I. Uh, I mean, I hope we get me level 3, but at this point, I would rather CA just focuses on Warhammer 3. I don't expect them to make it great with level 3 at this point. They don't have a good track record at the moment. Especially with like games like Pharaoh and Troy. Uh, I don't even count them as Total Wars because they're not good. I don't even count them as Total Wars because, yeah, they're just not good. Again, that's just my opinion. Like, mechanically, Attila is way more superior than, like, Pharaoh or Troy. <laughs> yeah, it's not even close, dude. It's not even freaking close. Um, but, yeah. I, I would just rather CA focuses on War Warhammer 3. Although, they have different teams that work on, like, you know, historical and also uh, the other titles. Uh, the fantasy ones. Again, I would love it if they like release Medieval 3 tomorrow, but I, I don't think it's going to be an amazing game. Uh, yeah, that is pretty close to army losses, I think. Actually, you guys don't go in. This guy lost a lot of units. Um, I don't know. Oh, it was their fucking horses, I think. Let me see how many they killed. Nine units. Who killed them? Oh, it was the archers, was it? Okay, let me just kill these guys. Uh, I'm not sure if the XP is going to get divided between our forces or not. I think Rome 2 is more difficult than Rome 1. I don't like the political system, to be honest. The food concern is interesting. Okay, if you think the food concern is interesting, Attila it has a lot more complex system than Rome 2. I think you're going to find Attila a lot more interesting than Rome 2 in regards of like the empire building aspect of things. But again, the campaign aspect, I, I agree, Attila doesn't have the best campaigns. Well, if you like, like, you know, like, horde faction, <laughs> the, the Hans are freaking crazy. I love it. I don't even use fucking, you know, milli units in this shit. Nah, bro, fuck milli units. Who needs milli units when you have horse caps? Horse caps. What am I saying? Uh, missile ca Oh, oh, actually, fuck, fuck that. This tower was shooting at our forces. I think it killed a couple of entities. Um, yeah, missile cab and like their milli cab. They're freaking amazing. We can kill armies upon armies of infantry spears. I don't really care. Like infant, like spears are really good against cab. But what are they gonna do against horse archers? <laughs> They're not gonna do shit against them. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're gonna just sack these cities. We got 1,500 coins out of that. Why did we lose? Wait, what? Did we spent some money? Oh yeah, we did spend some money to upgrade these guys. Okay, this guy has leveled up. Please be good traits. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's replenishment. That's great, dude. Please have a good trait. Oh, personal influence. That is great. Dude, we got fucking lucky. <laughs> We got good trace on all of these guys. Um, okay. Warriors all. Thirsty for battle. Okay, come a little bit closer. Go into in camp stance. I'm gonna give these guys that are a little bit damaged to him. Just so they can replenish a little bit. 
Yeah, I need them to replenish. And for this guy, I'm going to get zeal plus one. And it's going to be more integrity for this army, more missile damage, and more melee damage for commander's unit. And also missile attack rate plus 5%. And yeah, Vanguard is absolutely awesome. Plus 3 melee attack for all of our units. And campaign movement range plus 10%. Amazing. And these guys are going to get some replenishment. Uh, I think... Oh, shit. They might be able to attack. 10 units. We got 5. I can almost recruit mercs. I mean, they're, they're a lot more expensive than these guys, but they're cheaper than them. Nowhere even close to them. Because look at their stats. Now look at their melee stats. Holy shit, melee damage 40. Pretty good. Uh, hey, Stefan, how you doing, dude? I'm, honestly, I'm doing pretty good. Like, now that I'm playing Attila, I'm doing absolutely amazing. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I was not feeling great. Uh, especially the past few days. But just, you know, streaming at the moment is making me feel like a lot more better. I haven't had the best times in the last few days, unfortunately, but it is okay. It's life. I I just accept it as it is. And some days it's going to be shit. But who cares? <laughs> we're here we're playing some Attila. You know, we're having some fun. Hopefully we're going uh, to have an amazing day. And yeah, that's that's basically about it. So if you say Rome 2 gets uh, the remastered because the problem with some of the old games is that the weak graphics. Actually, the graphics of Rome 2 is pretty decent. Even though it's for 2013, it is pretty friend, decent indeed. Be welcome. Oh, the ancestors hello. Smile upon you. Personal influence. Three for her, three for the husband. Oh my god, yes. I cannot. Okay, I should buy the sprite for my son. Your people... I don't want to pay them that much. Ah, oh, come on now. I know you want 500. You speak from fuck. I feel you. I know, dude. Honestly, it's just it is what it is, dude. You know. Um, it's alright. Can you not spare some 800? Of your yeah. Speak I mean, she's 30 years old, but whatever. But it has remastered, so still that. Well, it's the Rome remastered. That is for Rome one. That is also good. Let your words move me to but, anger. But uh, well, as you wish. Of I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's all right though. If you wanna, um, it's like a simpler game compared to Rome two. Yeah, a lot more simpler, and it doesn't even have. Well, it does have two mods, two expansions like Medieval two. See my times when I have to do final work before going to bed. Shame. Today I had a six kilometer run. So too tired to do anything else. But I'm also going to bed, so unfortunately. Hey Kevin, how you doing, dude? That's life. Yeah, that that is life, dude. That is dude, that's basically how life is. Sometimes Like honestly working out definitely helps helps. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Africans. These are basically Afghans, I think. Yeah, all of them are Zoroastrians. Great Sassanid Empire. They're the third strongest faction. I think they served with like three armies or something. The problem with Rome Wonder Master is that they didn't address the pathfinding issue. Yeah, the pathfinding issues. It, <laughs> it's still the game that came out like 2000 and what was it four? That it came out. Yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> But it's it's an amazing game though. I don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it, but uh did I misspell it? Ah, uh, that sucks. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the the R and L should be okay, let me actually fix that. When I tell you I'm not having a great day, I was not having a great day. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let me... I fix that. Let me actually update the thumbnail. Thanks for letting me know, dude. Um, okay, let me... Save it. And let's update the thumbnail. Yeah, Jake. Thanks for letting me know. Because... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of made that in like a minute. 
or two. Uh, all right, so yeah, we had war with uh, Sassanid and all of their allies. Well, not all of their allies, but all of the vassals. Which is fuck eight factions. Ready for Our integrity battle. should be pretty good then. Concordant war is plus nine. Yep. It's going up twenty one. Damn. Seven. Battle. Yeah, our integrity is going to be pretty good. That is going up by two though. Uh, okay, so yeah, the hordes, the hordes are actually pretty interesting. In my opinion, they're a lot more interesting than like the Warhammer two hordes, Warhammer one and two hordes with Warriors of Chaos, and even Warhammer three hordes. For example, the well, they're they all right. Not gonna lie, the Vampire Coast and the does Beastman have hordes? I think they maybe I'm mistaken. Do they have hordes? I'm not sure to be honest. What the hell? I think they do have hordes. They are hordes. Yeah, they're not as interesting as this because you do have to fix up like some, you know, uh, food, money, and um, you, you don't actually settle on like the beastmen and the vampire coast. Uh, for example, there's like a couple different buildings, leadership buildings, which consume food but give you like money and like other bonuses and, you know, allow you to recruit like priests and shit. And, for example, these ones also provide uh, different horses, different cavalry units. Oh my fucking god, Indian elephants? Damn, I never knew they actually had Indian elephants. Or maybe it's only the white hunts. Yeah, these ones are food and money and some other bonuses like the horse breeding plus 15% battle speed for cav units. It doesn't necessarily have to be recruits because you can, you know, even put the ones you already recruited in the army that actually has this and then you can actually upgrade them and give them extra 5% speed and up to extra 15% speed um yeah alright then I think we can end it there hopefully these guys are not going to attack us because if they attack us we're probably going to have to run away I kind of deploy them close to them, but I don't think they're going to get to him, though. And they're going to declare war pretty soon. Oh! Oh, actually, yeah, never mind. I couldn't assign any points. Wake up at 6 so I catch them. I reckon that stream at night. But yeah, by 9, I gotta stop everything. And before the before that homework, so I don't catch streamers anymore. Shame. Yeah, it's alright, dude. I mean, now you're here. Hopefully, you know, we're going to have some fun. Fuck. Food shortage. Yeah, food shortage fucks us up. Negative 25% income from all buildings. And integrity minus 2. Um, because rivalry. Okay, so if we have, like, hordes near each other, they're going to have the rivalry debuff, which is going to be negative 15 food and negative 15% wealth. But if, for example, like Ready this army, action. if we have enough food, we're not going to get that food shortage. Ready for battle. Right, so yeah, let's take them out of in camp stance. Ready I for fucking action. forgot which units are for this guy. Be praised. How can I help? Spet Zeon archers. Ready uh, for you keep one of them, I guess. Yeah. Oh, we gotta fucking attack them. For the gods. Yeah, we can Ready for switch soldiers. It is what it is. I'm just gonna auto resolve this one. Detective, please don't kill any of my units. Yeah, we lost 24 units. That is cool. The good thing is, we're not gonna make much money, but we're gonna upgrade this guy. And I'm gonna give him, again, lightning and vanguard. Lightning is gonna be zeal. More missile damage, more integrity, more melee damage for the whole army. And the vanguard, extra cami wound range, extra melee attack for all of the units in the army. Get moving. Okay, give one of them because he already has one. Uh, keep the hunting mounted unit. Get two of these. Get...
get three of these guys. This army is going to be safe over here. On the move, lads. So they can actually start recruiting more of these Honic Horse Don't Archers. With us. Um, okay, we can now get the Dread Rider. Dread Rider is a pretty good office because not only it gives you extra influence for the character, but also recruitment cost deduction minus 6% for all CAV units faction-wide. So we have two of these spots, which is gonna be 12% upgrade reduction. Sorry, recruitment cost deduction for cavalry units, which is gonna definitely help us. And the extra three rank for cavalry unit recruits, that is absolutely awesome. Uh, unfortunately, he can be the only one that can get that. He's this guy. Right, so yeah, let's come as far as we can because we want to attack Dahestan. Mm, we can get some melee horses. Fuck, I should have left a couple more melee horses over here. I mean, we got six of those right over there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, get three of these steep mounted brigands. They're kind of cheap in terms of upkeep compared to these horse archers. Um, man, that's all right. Okay, so for the gods, hen unit. I can get a little bit closer, but it's gonna be risky because these guys can attack us. Okay, yeah, just be in range for now. And recruit Honic Horse Archers. We need more Horse Archers. We already have five in this army. I should... Nah, they're going to recruit. And just going to keep sacking this one. And he's going to upgrade himself and the army. Uh, there's some nice buffs and bonuses for the armies as well. Uh, you basically upgrade the army. So even if you lo lose the army, like... Let's say we lose in like 5-10 turns. You can reinstate the army. Again... And the army is going to, you know, start with the same level as it was. Uh, battle movement for camp. Movement speed for cavalry units. Up to 6%. 20% extra missile attack rate. Missile attack range plus 20%. Morale plus 8 when attacking. Replenishment plus 2%. Again, these are at level 2. Integrity plus 4. Arm recruitment. Oh, shit. Capacity plus 4. Holy shit, dude. That is awesome. Steep warfare plus 4% ammunition for missile cav. That is generally going to be like what? Like one extra ammunition. Or like two at max. Enemy morale minus two in the local region. Morale versus Eastern Empires. Barbarians and Romanos. Extra income from sacking. Captive ransom income plus 50%. Integrity when encamped. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Not going to need these that much. I would rather get my own Honic Forces. By the way, I got the Elf and Tomb King race back for other day and you've been really interesting so far. Thought it would be better to get two for 20 instead of just chorps for replayability and get chorps next time. Bro, honestly, that is actually... Because I didn't know the prices. I just told you which one, in my opinion, was the best one. But if you got two for the price of one, even though that one is better than the other two separately, but those two you know, together are actually better than chores alone. Again, because of repeatability. So, anyways, we are recruiting these guys at 310 upkeep. Yeah, we have enough money. For now, we don't have to, <coughs> excuse me, worry about that, uh, money that much. Let's build the herder's yurts. 40 extra food from animal husbandry and 100 extra wealth from animal husbandry. That's going to fix the food shortage and that is going to get rid of this debuff modifier we're not gonna get rid of this rivalry one for now it's, it's all right because when we go into in camp stance it's gonna generate us 25 percent extra you know money anyways extra income anyways so yeah might as well George Billy had any discount so it definitely was a better deal I I believe like the uh, later DLCs they don't have Ready? as much discount as the newer ones sorry as the older ones what am I saying <laughs> as the older ones Holy shit, but this ambitious trade is actually one of the best trades you can potentially get for your wife. Three extra influence for this guy. Love it. Uh, you gotta be 22 years old. The character hasn't previously attained sufficiently high office to be assigned. Yeah, he, he just get, you know, trying to get that office. 
right now. Uh, we can up we can get the warrior camp, which means Warriors in four on. turns we can start recruiting steps the archers. And they're definitely better than the Honic Horse Archers. Because they're even good fighters in melee combat. Like, their stats are freaking insane. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's probably... Okay, if not the best unit in Attila, it's definitely one of the best units in Attila. And they're not even that expensive for how good, like, how good they are. They're basically... They're going to use 25 of the ammunition. And they're going to be as good, if not better, than these melee ones. I think they're definitely better than the melee ones. Got less middle defense, but everything else they got more. Speed, morale, armor, everything. Charge bonus, melee da well, melee damage is the same exact thing. But melee attack. And it costs around 140 more upkeep. Worth it, 100 percent Especially if we like develop our buildings, we can have more of these guys. So, Chorf's was 30% uh, discount. How much was the other ones? 50%? I'm not sure how much. Again, I didn't check any of the discounts. I just said the ones that I thought have more value than the other ones. But again, I was not considering the price. I thought it was anywhere between like 30 to 50, 60%. Maybe other than Shadows of Change. I I'm not sure how much. Okay, food shortage resolved. That is great. Office secured, good. Numerical superiority. And we're gonna build the camp up. That is gonna use 20 more food. We need two population surplus to upgrade that. Yeah, 20 more food. We should be good. 50%. That is good. That is definitely good. Wait, how much is it right now? With the 50% discount? I think they've up like they increased the price. Even though it has a discount. They have already increased the price by a little bit compared to when i like i think at with the discounted price at the moment it's almost as expensive as the 10 percent discount back in the day when it came i think again yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. i don't remember exactly but i think that's actually the case Um, hold on, we need to recruit agents. Fuck, the agents is actually over here. Um, let's fight this battle. I'm just gonna auto-resolve it. I think we can. Yeah, we lost 30 units, that is, that is cool. Just sack it. Okay, this army actually upgraded. I'm gonna go with... Nomadic Horsemanship. Uh, they got 100 speed. Um, that... Oh, I didn't apply it, I think. Oh, I did apply it. Oh, shit, that was their... Sorry, that was their missile damage. Their speed was 80... It went up to 82. That is cool. <laughs> the newer ones were only like 20%. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that kind of sucks, bro. I'm not gonna lie. For the gods. Oh, 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 oh. I just remembered. I gotta switch these guys. Uh, just so... I can upgrade the speed. Yeah, 600... Uh, yeah, 600 is alright. Uh, actually, keep one of them. And get one of these guys as well. Get one of these guys. And get one of these steep mounted trice people. Just so I kind of spread these forces around. And keep one of the spet zion archers as well. No, I'll just keep it to the lord. Get moving. Quad be praised. How can I help? Yeah, that's kind of uh, more spread around that. That is I something I like. Um, I think this guy can get them no wait what ah oh, fuck he's still not enough influence oh it's this guy it's this guy can that can get them at level three now oh there we go level three yeah just keep recruiting horse archers that's the one we want 
not anyone else. Mm. Yeah, just auto resolve this. It's an easy enough battle. We lost 55 soldiers. That is cool. Like these smaller garrisons, I should definitely auto resolve. Come sit, share my fire. Both of them, by the way, leveled up. On our way. Please tell me you're at 20 influence now. Yes! Nice! Give him the Dread Rider. Um, okay, how about we don't recruit the unit right now and recruit them next turn for th rank 3. For the oh, this army, by the way, leveled up. Again, let's check the speed. 84, 95. 86, 97. Okay, that's two more speed. I like that. 22 units over here. Let's go with Lightning and Vanguard. Uh, yeah. Let's actually start recruiting these guys next turn. Just so I can have higher, higher rank on them. Ready for battle. Again, these are cheaper. I don't want cheaper. I want better. I thought they were going to be around the discount range too since they are older, but I don't know. Some of the other games were like 70% off. The Total War never goes more than 50% off. But yeah, that kind of sucks. Twenty-five. Oh, two over 20, 25%. Okay. Oh, it's in euros? 25 euros? You're joking. With the discount, they're 25 euros. Oh, without discount. Oh, I'm like, what the hell? How is it possible without discount? Sorry, with discount? Damn. Um, the, so, uh, these guys, they have excellent capture power. That is for the towers and stuff, sh shit like that. Hey, Warzak, how you doing, dude? I'm definitely looking forward to trying the chores out. They look super interesting. They sure do, bro. They look interesting, and they are definitely interesting. As interesting as they look. So, the thing is... Uh, things are gonna get a little shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Plus one extra rank. Okay, let's recruit this guy. I'm gonna get two, because... Uh, yeah, get the bow hunter. Uh, we, we need these guys to scout the area. I don't think you can actually attach them into the hordes. Even though it says, like, a accompanying lord can get... A accompanying general can get extra rank on their missile units. I don't think they can. Ponzi kits. <laughs> nah, bro. 25 without this gun. That is freaking crazy. Considering how many, like, units they sell, that is freaking insane. Uh, I actually want to invest in my civic technology for a little bit so I can upgrade these uh, buildings I have I have already built because we do have you know enough population surplus to start upgrading these ones it's definitely gonna give me a great amount of money uh, that is oof. Well, that's the first one okay good second one Okay, from this first one, we can upgrade the sheep flocks. That is going to give us 150 plus 90 more. That's 240 more money. And how much more food? 30 more food. That damn sucks. Life's... What? Damn. Probably have to go for the money one. Um... Because it's kind of cheap to upgrade. Both in terms of uh, population surplus and money. Again, the main way we're, we're going to make money is sacking like high-level settlements. But we don't have that many high-level settlements over here. At very at the very best, these settlements are going to pay us like a couple thousand. Again, at the very best situation. At the very best scenario. I think I'm actually gonna like build another building over here with seven seven population surplus instead of upgrading this stuff. Yeah. 
Um, how old are you? 20 years old. You need to be 22 to upgrade you to that. Upkeep minus 3%. That is actually pretty decent. Oh, mill damage plus 5% for cavalry units. That is great. Morale plus 10 been reinforcing. I need to make sure this guy is going to reinforce from now on. For a little bit. Public order. Oh, come on, man. We don't have public order. What are you doing? Okay, so I decided to not recruit any units <coughs> up there. I think that was actually a mistake. Should have recruited some units. Uh, pretty soon, Merv is going to have a rebellion and the African rebel, not the African rebels, but the Afghan rebels. I'm going to come and get this. Um, yeah, damn, dude, that sucks. We can't actually attach him into the army. Okay, Abar Shah actually has an army in here. Same thing with Haref. Yeah, these are strong armies. At the moment, I can't really deal with them, I'll be honest. Damn, motherfucker. They didn't... Mm. It's okay. That's that's fine. I'm just going to go a little bit further and start recruiting one of these Honic Horse Archers. I think he can recruit them at tier 3 now as well. Let me check. Yeah, there we go. Ready for action. Mm, I, I gotta I gotta see which building I actually want to get. It's it's really important to get the best possible one. Just yep, auto resolve. That is good because we're gonna be leveling up our armies and you know lords and stuff. Even though it's not big battles, but still, every battle counts. Two more turns until we can get Spetsions. Again, that army is going to be filled with Spetsions. You get Honic Horse Archers since you can, you know, have them at tier 3. Oh, sweet. Mill damage, missile damage plus 5% for cav units. Melee damage plus 5% for cav units. Alright, bet. <coughs> Okay, let's let's see. Um, this building is actually pretty good. Extra thirty food growth plus four when encamped. No, no, no. I need, I need. Oh, we already have that. What else can I get? We can get this one plus five percent from commercial buildings. That sucks. Okay, actually, there's a commercial building that increases the industrial. Oh, there we go. That's the one. Animal husbandry plus five percent extra income. We got three different buildings with animal husbandries. Actually, now that I look at it, this it's not a bad building. Like extra four growth when encamped, that's gonna give us more growth, so we can you know get more growth faster, which is definitely good. And extra income from husbandry, animal husbandry buildings. It's five percent. It's not that much, but again, it's food, extra growth. When we are encamped and extra money from animal husbandry buildings, which we have three of these motherfuckers. Again, this building would also be good. 5% extra income from industrial buildings, but the bonuses from this are greater. Although that obviously gives us money, uh, which this doesn't. But it technically does because it increases the thing. I'm actually going to go for this one. That's the one, yay? Yeah, it's commerce. What about the Elder's Yurts? Mm, priest. Where's Champions? Oh, there we go. That's Champion. Integrity. That is going to give us Integrity. Integrity is at the pretty good stage. I don't think we need to get any of that. Wait, how many of it is because of the battle we fought? Spoils of War. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Oh, did we just attack it? Attack the settlement. That is because of that. Battle 1 plus 10. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where Spoils of War is from. We can get another one of these. No, I'm not going to get that. Um, yeah, let's, let's go with uh, the Commerce Building. Communal Grounds. 
And then we're going to get the campfires. Extra growth, extra food from reserves, and extra wealth. Even though this guy doesn't really need food. I just wanted to come by and say hi. Gotta go do something now. Take care, man. Alright, dude. Um, I'm gonna see you later. Ready for battle. Like loot from the battle, is that what you mean? I think maybe, maybe that is what it means. I'm not exactly sure, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I think that's what it means, probably. Mm. Come sit, share my fire. Come sit, share my fire. Hmm. <laughs> you wanna turn it to the other one? Yeah, that's. So, right, so this was gonna give us what? 180 extra coins. Yeah, this is definitely not worth it. 180 extra coins. Or do we just wait for the six population surplus? No, let's just build that. We need the money right now. Like, money wise, we're not doing amazing. It seems we have a lot of money at the moment, and you know, we have a lot of income, but it's gonna go down pretty fast. Because, you know, the more units we recruit, the more expensive... Oh, each one of them is like 310. Holy the fuck. But it's, it's good that we, you know, got rid of our infantry units early on. So we don't lose any more money because of them. Because, uh, you know, because of the upkeep. We didn't need them. As you guys saw. But the thing is, the Eastern Empires, like the Eastern factions, are gonna send, like, a couple sacks up here. Like... What is it? Safavids? Sorry, Sassanids. Uh, Sassanids are going to send like two stacks. These guys, the Macrans, even the Lachmids. You know, all of these guys, Armenia, Avershar, Arya, all of them are going to send like stacks up north. And there is a stack up north over here as well in Kath. I would want to auto-resolve that. But if they sally out, that would be even better. If they run away, that would be even better than the other two options. Yeah, I think next turn I feel you know safe and strong enough to actually go up there and kick this guy's ass. Alright, alright. So let's um yeah, one spetsy on over here. Dude, for like 66 more upkeep. This guy is just fucking crazy. The rate of fire is kind of bad, but who cares? They do a lot more damage. Honestly, you shouldn't have like a full stack of these guys. Maybe have like five to ten of them. Then have the rest of them as honey horse archers. Basically, these guys are going to be your melee units. Melee calf. Even though they're not really melee calf, but they're better than most melee calves in the game. Even better than the honey ones. And that is something. Honestly, this has been the perfect start to, our, to this campaign so far. <sighs> African Separatists. Uh, what do you want? Defamation. Who's that? Oh, that is... Who the fuck are you? Carol has spread foul rumors. Oh, fuck off. Pay him off. Okay, let's secure some influence. Sorry, secure some loyalty for this guy. Dude, this freaking... His wife is pretty decent, not gonna lie. It's one of the best traits we could have possibly gotten. And we were lucky enough to get it. Oh, that's their stack. These fucking pussies. Uh, let's go with authority. Authority is gonna be more morale for commander's units, and you know, obviously, battle movement speed. Not for the army, for the local region. Okay, hold on. Um, Ninety-seven. See if the speed in th on those other guys was, is also going to increase. Maybe in the battle, it's gonna get increased. But yeah, this one is also gonna give us fatigue rate minus 10% for the commander force. And also one more point to the cunning. 
Oh, upkeep deduction. There we go. That's around 50... Yeah, 50 upkeep reduction. That's good. War be praised. Let's go. Besieging settlement. War be praised. Okay, enough of that. Enough of beating the dead horse. Let's go to the Afgrids. Again, I, I don't really need to go into a raiding stance. I have enough money. I don't really care about money too much. Ugh. I mean, if you go into in-camp stance, it's going to go back to positive. Again, authority. Oh, oh, fuck. Extra food. Ammunition, extra 3%. Now let's go for the cunning. It's going to save us a little bit more money, around 60 Please tell me, motherfuckers, they didn't build that up again. He's not leveling up. Come on, man. Little piece of shit. Authority and, again, cunning. Saved us a little bit more money. Ah, uh, it's gonna have a rebellion pretty soon. Yeah, I better go up north and attack this one. Because they, for some reason, they're repairing Dahastan, but not Merv. Oh, because Merv is going to have a rebellion, that's why. I should probably start doing some actions on these guys. Just hinder their armies, repl uh, not replenishment, but movement. Ready for action. Okay, I'm going to declare at these guys. Just so. The door is open to you. Hopefully but they will leave their settlement. Won. Or they come and attack me. 14 units. Ready for battle. Uh we're gonna reinforce each other, right? Come yep. Sit. Share my fire. There is no way this guy is gonna Oh. Oh fuck. Okay, that's actually good. He's probably gonna sally out. I don't think he's gonna do battle. that. He he's a pussy. He's not gonna do that. Uh seven population surplus. I'm even though I have one of these. Uh, actually, I don't have I don't have this. I have that. Go herders. Let's go with the shepherd's camp. Again, just because it gives us around 100 and... Sorry, 220. Uh, it's because of the fertility level of this area. Again, we don't want to raise anything to the ground. We just want to sack... Settlements. That's all. Because if we raise the settlements, we're going to lose integrity. And the base fertility of the land is also going to go down. Which is going to be bad for our, um, you know, the areas that we make food from. For example, the shepherd's camp or the other ones we have. For example, goat herders or there's another one. Cattle herders, which is the one that gives extra speed to our forces. Okay, come on. Oh, there we go. There is Macran. Yeah, that is a stack from Macran. They will start coming up north, but they're going to move together. So we have to use our agents to hinder their movement a little bit. So they are lagged, like some of their forces are lagged behind. So we can go and attack them. Um, right, let's... Yeah, they have enough loyalty. I should probably make... He's a bastard. He's an illeg illegitimate child. For some reason, he's the heir. I don't know why. I don't know what's the reason behind that. But he should be the, uh, he should be the heir because he has a pretty good trait. And his wife has an even better trait. She's kind of old, 31. Well, 31 is not old, but in this game, it would be better to just get them as young as they come. Okay, that sounded fucked, but... <laughs> Um, obviously, the the younger brides for your sons in this game. Okay, I have to say it as the way I say it, said it, because then it's gonna become problematic. Uh, the younger they are, the higher chance there is for them to have childs in the game. Okay, again, everything I'm saying it's in the game. Okay, can you change the year? Back then, Terry was kind of old. Yeah, that's true, because people usually die a lot. You know. At younger ages. 
because of diseases, war, and all of that shit. Yes, we can change the heir. We can just select this guy and then declare him the heir. But the other, like, other potential heirs are going to get pissed. Yeah, fuck him, though. Uh, didn't you think you could in Medieval 2? Never knew if so. Um, I think you could do it even in Rome 1. Like, Rome Total War, the first one. You should also, you should have been able to do it in Medieval 2 as well. I'm pretty sure. Again, I haven't played Medieval 2 in a really long time, but I still think you could have done that. Mm, we have enough horse archers. I don't think we need any more. Uh, that is what, seven? So eight. Five over here, and we gotta start recruiting. Who's archers in a second? Yeah, do we have any. I think that is gonna increase the stats of them a little bit. And by stats, I mean rank. No. For the gods. Ready for action. Ah, these are a lot of damage. Also, between war, poverty, and plagues, it was probably unlikely to live past 40. I mean, definitely some like emperors and like kings and stuff did, but. Yeah, they were not that... It was kind of rare for them to live past like 40, 50, 60. Okay, what are these guys? Oh, they're standing outside of the settlement. These fucking idiots. <laughs> we, can, we can get the settlement garrison to sally out. Mazoon, I don't know who they are. Uh, let's give him a small bribe. Uh, it's gonna be her influence. Who cares? It's 20 influence. Yeah, one extra loyalty for this guy. Agent exposed. What do you want? What do you want from me? Okay, hinder this army. Hmm. Nah, you don't need to hinder any armies at the moment. I am the knight in the dark. Really? Nothing more. Uh, they haven't built that up. Same thing with this motherfucker. God damn it. Quarry be praised. How can I help? Uh, oh shit. Um, how much money are we gonna save? For to their yeah, I would rather just. Oh. Keep them around this area. Mm, I probably should have gone back over here because that's going to be a brand new stack that we can get to kill. Warriors all. Okay, now we can get Spetsions. How much are they? Oh, look at that. We can get the uh, Sogdian Warriors. I'm not going to get them. Uh, they are alright though. And the Honic Steep Levy. Oh, the fuck wants them? When you can get Spetsy on archers. Holy shit, these guys are freaking insane, though. Okay, if they run away, that is alright. Oh, shit. What the hell? Dude. Okay, now he's gonna join in. It's gonna be a different story when he joins in. Um, yeah, that is, that is cool, but it's not good enough. So we definitely have to auto result. Sorry, not, uh, what am I saying? Definitely have to fight the battle manually. <laughs> um, okay, so at least one horse over here. There's one horse over there, two horses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not sure what this is. Maybe it's another horse. At the very worst scenario, this one is definitely a horse. At the very worst scenario, it's going to be nine horses against my full stack of horses well, it's a little bit more than a full stack because we can control larger armies i think it's 22 plus plus two 24 i'm actually count seven seven 14 and six 20 and actually 24 my bad oh yeah 11 plus 11 is just 22 then 22 plus two uh let's fight the battle manually 
King's Iron Prince were pampered and protected. But still, I mean, like, no one was, like, completely protected against plagues. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a Black Plague, Black Death, like, there was no running away from that. You would have definitely been dead. Alright, so, let's... Our forces over here just use the horse archers for now let's count three four five six seven eight oh yeah okay eight horses Look, friendly banners our reinforcements arrive okay this is the first first guys then we're gonna put in the second batch of infantry. Alright, so let's put them in armor group 2. But again, shouldn't be locked. Oh! Oh, 9 actually! Oh shit! Um. Right, uh, let's bring them in. It's only one spearman. That is, that should be easy to deal with. Now let's bring in these horse archers over here, and then we're gonna kind of see how we're gonna use them. Five over here, eight over there. This bullshit is kind of... Uh, the way you have to kind of switch them around is kind of shit, but it is what it is. Okay, you guys go for them. Let's kill them before they even can get close to those guys. Okay, you guys go into heavy shots. Okay, before they get too close to those guys, let's bring them there. Six and seven. Okay. okay let me just organize them a little bit better because this is not the thing I wanted to see. Drop them. Yeah, they're fucked. Lovely stuff. Uh, you guys stop shooting. Actually, keep shooting. Finish that guy off. Okay, one unit should be enough. Mm, oh shit, they're in range. Oh no. Are they actually they shooting? They are shooting. Him. Fuck. Hey, you guys, just, just get in there. Just kill him. You just keep shooting at his back. He is dead. Get his ass. Oh, you motherfuckers. Actually, they're not getting that many kills. Keep them in the back. You guys help out. This guy, we gotta get him out of there. Okay, if we rush them in, the like, couple of horse archers are gonna, like, horses are gonna kill, like, a unit of bowmen. Or, like, any infantry unit in a couple of seconds if we overwhelm them from, like, different directions. Like this. Oh, fuck, we, we kind of wasted this. A little bit on him. That's all right. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Okay, you guys can start shooting. Get the hell out of there.
Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Move, 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 move. Okay, we gotta kill the horses. Uh, flaming shots. Flaming shots. Oh crap, motherfuckers! Shit, 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 shit. We should be able to kill their like their horse units pretty easily as long as we just keep our distance. Yeah, as long as we keep them at a the distance, they shouldn't be a problem. Activate the precision shots. Activate precision shots. Just don't let them get too close. We can keep them at a the distance. We're not going to actually use our melee cab unless. Yeah, except the time that. Oh, oh they might actually use their missile. Ammunition as well, unless we kill it. Come on. Yeah, the first the time we should use our um, milli calf is when all of their horses are dead. So we just use our milli calf to stop shooting to kill their archers and stuff. You need a pretty good marker management if you want to play as a hunts. Stop shooting. They're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, now we're gonna kill the Lord. If we kill the Lord, the rest of it is gonna be like a piece of cake. There is four more horses. So far, we have killed four or five of their horses, a couple of their missile units, and one infantry. The low life expen expectancy is more due to the high infant mortality. That is, that is also one of the other factors, for sure. Oh, shit, yeah. These guys are exhausted. Let's, um... Uh, that was because I used a precision shot. Okay, just give them a little bit of a rest. But I would want them to be, like, near the enemy and just start shooting at the enemy, and that's where exactly they're gonna get the rest they need. All of, well, some of them are exhausted. The ones that had precision shot, they all are exhausted. Okay, now they have gotten a little bit of a rest, so they're better. Yeah, they're still red, okay. Everyone has the rapid advance, so, so that's good. Yeah, this horse archer is fucked. Everyone, get the rapid speed. Oh, come on now. I don't know why we aren't actually kill. Oh, oh my god, idiot me. I didn't have them on for it at will. Uh, that's why they weren't fucking shooting. Get those guys this way. You guys get this way. Just shoot them at the backs. I sometimes forget to like put them at for that will again. That's why we lost some forces. That is it is what it is. Though. You guys want to shoot? Let's get eh, attack them. Now it's start. It's time to divide our forces a little bit. Some of our own forces, unfortunately, but it is okay. It's okay. We just need to stop. Oh, 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 oh! Get them out of there, boys. You start shooting at them. Our troops are being ambushed. Yeah, we're gonna kill the Lord. If we kill the Lord, that is GG's. No, you fucking idiot! Don't go and attack him.
Yeah, the Lord should be pretty close to dying. Uh, yeah, they, they should be dead. They're dead. It is time. Come on. It's time to kill this guy. Yeah, they're vulnerable. Come on, just, just ignore shooting them. Just go straight in. Their lord should die pretty soon. Yeah. One of our units can no longer fire. Pretty close. There we go. The enemy general is Get in fallen. there. Enemy general has fallen. Lovely stuff. Okay, anyone that is out of ammo. But we get out of the armor group. Okay, the ones that are out of ammo. I fucking hate how this shit works. Uh, okay, there we go. And... Okay, they're gonna be... Like, million... Like, sorry, million units. They're gonna be used, like... Millie calf. The rest of them do. Get the hell out. Actually, no, 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 no. Go for these guys. Everyone go for these guys. Except these two. The rest, bring them over here. Okay, bring the horse calf. Sorry, the Millie calf. Okay, you guys just go into heavy shots. Everyone heavy shots. We can use the whistling shots as well Just so we decrease the morale a little bit more okay, You guys can also shoot your shots if you want to Okay, just chase after these guys you guys follow and You three in yeah, we need to use all of our ammunition before we even get close to them. Yeah, unless they are freaking archers or missile units. If that is the case, we don't need to even go close to them. They don't have any missile missile shots on these infantry units. Should be pretty easy. Yeah, keep them at the back. The enemy tremble before our superior numbers. I think one unit should do whistling shots. Kill the Lord. Kill this guy. Yeah, we need to shoot them from different sides. Uh, we got four units. Okay, just get them out of the locked group. Actually, you should shoot. What are you guys doing? Oh, they didn't have their shots on. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Don't get close. Okay, we have killed almost all of them. Yep. And they are army lost. There we go. You guys finish them off. We don't need to allow any of them to run away. Uh, we lost some soldiers. Um, it's alright. We had too many horses, I kind of feel like. I'll be honest, we didn't need half of them. Especially the infantry. Well, infantry isn't... Like, melee... Sorry, not infantry, but the melee calf. It's definitely good. But not when you're playing as a Hans. You would make a lot more use out of the horse archer ones. What do we say? Yeah, I should organize them a little bit better next time. Because this was definitely not it. I'm kind of getting used to playing as Demony again. So it's going to take some time for sure. Let's kill every single one of them. Uh, I'm not sure. Did we kill every single one of the units? Or almost every single one of the units? That was pretty good. Shemash Shum Ukin. Has been absolutely wrecked. 559. Or do we take the replenishment? 
Uh, I think we don't need the replenishment, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna get the money. Please, if there is a unit in here... Wait, can we actually attack it? Oh, sweet Jesus, nice. Sack it. 3,500 coins. Woo! <laughs> Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Okay, what is their faction strength? I didn't check it before. 59th. One of the weakest factions, but that uh, there's a lot more factions than that, so I I'm kinda afraid. Ready for action. There is another army around. No, fuck it. I mean uh, if the there is, we're fucked. Okay, let's get some spetsions. 376 upkeep, but 550 recruitment cost. Well, we don't need to get them. And I don't really like the Steep Lancers. Even though they do a lot of charge bonus, their, their melee stats are ass. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Uh, let's get rid of another one of them. I would rather get Spetsions. I think we can get like three of them. Fight with us. Yeah, let's get three. And then we give them to this guy. So he gives them the horse breeding one. But this army down south though. This one needs to recruit units. Even though I'm going to be almost a negative in terms of upkeep. Mm, yeah, get rid of that. These guys are alright though. They got good melee stats. I don't need our melee calf to be good in... Just charge bonus or whatever. I need them to be good in melee combat. Both in terms of melee damage, melee attack, and melee defense. Again, don't really care about the armor. But holy fuck, 75 armor on these steps, the Unharshers. That is freaking nuts. Um, yeah, 1200 coins. Upkeep, but that's definitely going to change. Because these are 376. Times... 1,100 upkeep. Mm. How about we don't get them? For the gods. Mm, damn, bro. <laughs> it's just there's not enough enemies for me to fight at the moment. Fight with us. Holy fuck, Spetsions are cheaper than these guys? What the hell? We need good fighters. It's 1,100, eh? And... How much are... 368. So they're gonna be a little bit cheaper because of the upgrade reduction, but that is still... That is still really expensive. The other horde factions, yeah, there are two of them are up here. There is a lot more around Dacia and you know Macedonia and stuff like that, like and in Germania, obviously, there's a lot of them. Um, but I was mainly talking about the Honic fa Honic horde factions. Again, I I'm not gonna recruit these guys because even though they're really good and all of that, but still. Steep mounted bows. I mean, these guys are also pretty good just because they're cheap. You know what I mean? They're not great, but they're cheap. We can have one unit of horse archer with 24 ammo in a battle with 147 upkeep. Again, I understand these guys are the best freaking thing you can get. But still, they're freaking expensive. Unless our economy can support them at a later time. Uh, that's going to be like 220 extra money. You know what? Get one of them. That's kind of sucks, but get one of them. Mm, we're going to sack these with these two. And then we're just going to go down south with all of them. War be praised. How can I help? Let's say. Ooh, negative 485. Holy shit, dude. They freaking hate us. I mean, fair enough. I would have hated this too. If my allies were getting freaking massacred by a horse archers. Like, they can't do anything against them, basically. 
even with like if our ammo runs out with extreme cheese well not cheese but extreme micromanagement i can still win the battles i can I just speak the hardest word for a warrior okay i'm not gonna give you peace just yet let me sack your settlement one time that is the separatists of afghans i think okay our imperium level increased mercenary contracts mercenary pool i don't care fuck the mercenaries damn for the prize. Warriors all. Mm, yeah, it's all to resolve it. Damn, yeah, lost 102 units. What the fuck? Sack it. Come sit, share my fire. Come sit, share my fire. Alright, so we are actually gonna attack this guy and hopefully he's gonna stay and fight. Kill. You little pussy. I didn't. We take this settlement on the drive. Um yeah, I'm gonna siege it for a turn, why not? Hungry guide my steps. Oh shit, we can't even get that. Damn! cattle herd i think i do have one yeah there we go that is extra five percent speed on top of that five percent speed i had for my horse calf i don't know why i say horse calf for my cavalry units um let's see what is that eastern separatists holy shit that's a big ass force um not not a big deal for my army though Are you sure that's all? that is parthia okay Abershire, all right. Where are they? Oh, they might have. They have another settlement down there. Guys, just give me a second. Uh, right. So there is one army here, one army there. We're gonna fuck them up. There's one army here as well. There might be Sassanus coming, which is completely fine. I need some battles to fight. Oh, oh, hello. Arya, they actually went up there. That is cool. Let's go in here. Let's recruit two more. I'm probably gonna start disbanding some of these because they are obviously lower level. Rank three, they got four more melee attack, uh, four more melee defense, three more morale, and that's basically about it. Six hundred eighty-two. Um, they're kind of expensive. I. You know, I would rather them getting damaged first and then I'm going to merge them into the higher tier ones. And then uh, then I'm actually going to, you know, start recruiting the uh, higher tier dudes. Not right now. Mm, four turns and that is six turns. So right now it kind of makes sense to merge these guys into the other ones. And save 300 income. So, all right, and yeah, I got one honey horse archer. <sighs> okay, I kind of like these steep mountain bows just because they're cheap. The unit doesn't have to be the best unit ever; it has to be cheap and convenient. I like, I love convenient units, dude. Like honestly, that is like any unit that is convenient to recruit. And not necessarily the greatest unit you have, but you know, just because of the convenience and the money, you would recruit it. I love these gun units. You know, in Warhammer 3, in like older historical titles like Attila, Rome, uh, like Shogun 2. Like in Shogun 2, we got Yari Ashigaru, which is one of the most convenient units you can have. In what the hell? For the God. For the gods. Move 
I think I'm uh, I'm gonna auto resolve this one. Only a couple of units in there. I'm gonna go protective. Hopefully we're not gonna lose too many units. Uh, 83 units. That's that's cool. Oh, round 2k. There we go. Tangri guides my steps. Tangri is actually their god. Um, yeah, it's just all right. And. Uh, the religion is not the greatest, I'm gonna be honest. Plus one integrity. Romans are definitely a lot more better. Well, Romans have Latin Christianity and Roman paganism. Um, which one is better, actually? Um, I think Roman paganism gives, like, sanitation or something. Uh, which is definitely good. I get Spetsiots. One of them will, you know. <sighs> Go with Hunter, extra food from for the horde and extra 3% ammunition for missile calf. Extra 3% battle movement, melee defense, melee attack, and morale training. Unity experience plus one for all recruits. Uh oh by the way, by the way, don't don't recruit that right now. The morale of this is 45, but if you recruit it right now, it's going to be f still 45. What the hell? Fighters. Oh, is is this going to get applied Ready, next turn? So it says morale training plus three for the cavy recruits. Does it have to be like milk? I don't think so. Maybe when they get recruited, Let's they have that extra battle. morale. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to be honest. For the gods. Hmm. Nah, I need this. Oh, wait, what? The communal grounds? Campfires, why can't I get it? Oh, I'm an idiot. We already had this. Oh, shit, we already had that. Mm, commercial buildings. But yeah, let's get the bar bartering grounds, because... Well, this one is... Not that bad, I'm gonna be honest. Morale plus five. And up to 50. <laughs> Holy shit, that's really good. What battle. other buildings can we get? Military recruitment. Mm, no. Artisan. Oh, yeah, these are definitely good, especially the fleshy. This one. The thing. The Tinker's Camp. Plus 15% ammunition for missile unit recruits. Damn, and Onager. Yeah, we don't really need Onagers because it's kind of annoying defending them in battles. Communal crowds. Yeah, actually, let's go with this one. Uh, eight population surplus. Oh, hell no. <laughs> We're not going to get there anytime soon. Okay, hinder the movement of this army. It was indeed successful. Okay. Okay, before we do anything, let's get a piece with them. In time, two things all. Yeah, they want it. Of course. Fish and uninvited guests. Speak quickly then. Before I lose interest and my breakfast, my appetite. Okay, we we got like twelve hundred coins out of them. That is definitely good. Let them be in fear. They're gonna come back soon. Beat the rasses one more time. Um, a royal host plus one horde growth. Actually, this is. Let's just finish these two. Take with plus two. Campaign. Oh, campaign moment range plus ten percent for all armies. That is awesome. Lancer's train. Where's the building that? What is the uh... building? What a research that is gonna unlock this. Nine turns, eh? Yeah, we need we need to get the extra horde growth. Uh, that's gonna take six turns. Let's do 
the scourging raids and also the assimilation of neighbors felt maker and meat curer all right let's see where is meat felt maker i think that's the one we have to go for first meat curer what is that metal worker uh it's definitely not here no it's is that it vine trader meat curer oh i mean we're gonna get both and then we're gonna go straight for the supply acquisition so we can you know get the carpenter's yurt and also the metal worker's yurt so we can uh upgrade the You know, ammunition of our missile units and also the melee damage of our all of our melee units. And at some point, the armor as well. Uh, by the way, can we... Oh, this guy can get to the next point. Sunicast. Where is this guy? Okay, just so he uses this, I'm going to recruit two units. So they're going to be higher tier. I don't even know where is the force. Oh, this, their settlement actually got sacked by them, I think. How can I help? All right, so, um, Ready for hmm, damn, bro, this is okay. I can be over here. I can't really hide. I mean, I can I hide? No, we don't have uh, ambush stance. Fair enough. If these guys have had ambush stance, they would have been really annoying, even more annoying than beastmen. Okay, this guy has leveled up. Let me see. Misdirect army action minus twenty five percent movement range. That is good. Infiltrate action minus twenty percent chance of being detected. Chance of stopping target. Can't exactly attach them into armies. Scout ahead. Hmm. Hold on. I'm not going there. I can't attach him into armies. Yes. What? Yes, my lord. Let's go. Who's that over here? This guy. Critical fail. Oh no! Damn, he got injured. That is a misconception, but past 60, 70 was a stretch. What are we talking about here? <laughs> what do you want? Ready for battle. <sighs> All right, end the turn. I gotta wait and see what happens over here, cause yeah, if they bring in forces and I. I'm not here to see because I have to go to the bathroom, but I gotta watch this end of this turn. And I made a mistake. I lost one of my scouts at the moment. I mean, for the moment at least. And I don't have any eyes over this area. They don't. Oh my god, they don't fucking rebuild them. Oh, you're dead, my dude. About the life expectancy. Sorry, I just came back to the live stream. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they, honestly, I think barely any people made it past to, like, turn... Not turn, what am I saying? 870 or, like, 60. Barely any people did it back in the day. Thirsty for battle. 
Right, let's get over there. We could attack them. What kind of force they have? Oh, this is going to be easy. Well, I should only use the ones that are not damaged. Let's put the ones that are damaged at the very back. Um... Well, the auto resolve is pretty decent, I'll be honest. Like, let's see. Ew. Ew. Damn. Yeah, take the replenishment. Holy fuck. Damn, dude. That was. That was not good. I probably should have fought the battle manually, but whatever. We have some, some turns. Before we get to. The other enemy. Start replenishing. Definitely extra ammunition would be nice. Mm. Yeah, I gotta go for that if you want to get to the steep buffer. Probably should have fought the battle manually. Oh my god, negative 1,000. Damn, dude. For the gods. Right, so this? let's merge help? some boys. These are cheap. Come, sit. Share my fire. Up creep reduction minus 3% for all units. For the gods. Yep. To make sure there is no other armies. Yeah, they don't have any armies. They're fucked. Okay, I gotta fight the battle manually. Yeah, I gotta fight the battle manually. Um, I, I have to not take any casualties whatsoever, guys. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and also wash my face because I'm kind of exhausted. Just because I didn't have a good sleep and I had to wake up early today because I had some shit to do, but. Uh, anyways, you got two horses, three archers, one spearman. Please don't be a sandstorm. Uh, drive better. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna be back in a minute, and we're gonna continue killing some, knock, uh, some dudes. All right. I avoided being cancelled. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. Sometimes some people don't like the fact that, you know, even though it's a video game, but they, they don't care. They're like, yeah, why do you say, you know, kill these, these people? <laughs> I'm, I'm again. I I mean it in the video game, but some people just take it out of context. Like that's not my problem. Whatever. Okay, are they gonna come outside of the city? I think they are. I mean, I guess I'm Persian myself, so I, I, I don't think anyone can say shit about that. Anyways, 
Uh, they are actually coming out of the city. The I should keep here. my forces outside of the range of them. Go with flaming shots. Them off. There we go. Kiss off. What do we say? Uh, let's go with heavy shots. Yeah, dude, they're already dead. Like, relax. Like, fuck. Run, curse you. Let's keep shooting. Very nice. Again, I need to keep my forces away from their tower so we don't get killed. <laughs> the towers are extremely good against basically anything. Elephant, horses, infantry, whatever. They do good against all of them. Okay, go out of the range of the towers. Yeah, that one is almost dead. Oh, that is broken for sure. I'm not sure if it's dead. What do we see? Let's... Okay, let's kill this guy. That's why I put it on flaming shots. Flaming shots are extremely good against cav units. Yeah, General Our has fallen. There we go. Okay, now let's go to heavy shots. Uh, that that guy's definitely broken. Yeah, he's shattered. I mean, every single one of their entities are dead. Are we gonna lose a couple of entities? But that is that is fine. If we get to finish this a little bit faster. There we go, army lost. Yeah. Victory. They got an army lost. I'm just gonna auto. Sorry, finish the battle because the towers were gonna kill a couple more entities. Before we would have finished every single one of them off. Well, I mean, they're already wiped, so it's cool. The kills got divided between the forces, eh? Yep. Uh, 1k, okay, that's that's alright. Are we gonna steal money from the trade rats? Not exactly sure. Do we have to necessarily raid it? No, definitely going to in camp sense. It's not worth to raid the areas, at least with the horde factions. Mm. Okay, I think we can keep our forces separate from now on. Just so they make 15% more money. How much money are they making? 2,300. Um, yeah, negative 440. They can make around 800, like 40. But... We're not gonna have the support of each other so isn't it better to just get rid of one of these i mean we have enough money to not really care for a while oh my god eight turns for the tribe. yeah i merge them and we definitely need some one bit x and capture power so at least one person but that's with missile block chance. Yeah, it's gonna be a while until we can get them to. They're pretty good. 
Oh, they're damaged. Get rid of them. Let me save a little bit more money. Yeah, that was a pretty good unit that he disbanded, but whatever. It's alright. No, these guys are good. We, we need to have some melee units. To use them against like other cav units. But again, horse archers should be just dogs. fine against cav units as long as we kill the cav units with our with their ammunition. They're not good against them in like melee combat, but they're extremely good at shooting them down. Definitely pretty good at doing that. Um oh, we can also level up. Upgrade reduction 6% and extra sacking income. That's good. Someone else has to go on Dread Rider. And these who can. They have accumulated enough growth. Oh, oh, new sun. Well, actually, he he was always there. He was just not of age. I would love him to be my um. Ooh. Oh shit! Horde. Oh, that's only two percent construction cost deduction. Uh, that is definitely good. Enemy morale minus four. Like, definitely, this one is one of the best ones. Yeah, melee attack plus five and horde growth plus four for all hordes. These are some decent stuff. Forty-four influence, eh? So let's see. can do that actually let's just get you to a grand spoiler all right let's end the turn see what's gonna happen are we gonna get attacked over here is this army the defenders of ume going to get attacked over over the intern or what If we sack that settlement, then go down south. Can we go into in-camp stance? That is the million-dollar question. Actually, I'm gonna do this so he loses the influence and not this guy. For the fly. Okay, 70 income. That's okay. Again, I didn't do it for the income. Yep, we can actually get there, attack it, and then... Three units in the garrison. That is okay. That is great. Just be protect protective. Yeah, 42 units lost. 2,000 coins. Lovely. It's gonna go on a sacking spree and then just keep sacking these two for a while. For the gods. Let's go with the hunters and cavalry commander. Oh well, yeah, the thing definitely went down. The upkeep. I don't know if they actually have built that up or not. Let me check. There's an army there. Um, they haven't built it up. Hunter and cavalry commander. For now, let's just keep them together because why the heck not? Okay, let's move him first. Go into in camp stance. So let's bring him in now. Come sit, share my fire. On our way. And then we kill them in battle. Yep. Okay, this is gonna get built next turn. 200 extra income from commerce and 5% extra income from industrial buildings. You have one over here, two over there. That is around what? 1,000 extra. 
one thousand income from industry and five percent extra income from industrial buildings is going to be around fifty. But this building is technically going to give us around two fifty more income. That is still not going to be positive though. It's going to be close. Come sit. Share my Six population surplus. Okay. Um, let's go to the desert. I think we have attrition. I have things to attend. Immunity to desert attrition. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. That is definitely nice great. Again, we don't want to raise anything. We want them to, you know, build these back up so we can come back over here and sack them. Keep sacking them. Get another Spetsy on. We need good fighters. Archer. Yeah, that is... Ready for action. Wait, is it? Does it say if it's good against like cavalry? No. Excellent missile block chance. Because of their crazy armor, obviously. 50 because of the shield. They have shields? Oh my... Look at the ability. Seasickness. Well, yeah, that's... What does that mean? Inexperienced sailor caught and caught... Yeah, whatever. That is fair. They shouldn't even be able to go to the sea. Damn, I can't even select them. Hold on. Select another unit and then select this one again. Uh, excellent light of fire, excellent armor, excellent muscle block chance, and yeah, hiding. Range of 150. What is their range? I think all of them are 150. Yeah, 150. And what about this other guy? Ready for action. I think all of them are 150. Yeah, 150. Spotting 750. Rate of fire 141. Come, sit. Let's see about fire. this one. 750, 141. That's the same rate of fire as the other guy. Why does it say these guys have very poor rate of fire? Even though for, for these guys, oh, it says the same thing. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, all of them have very poor rate of fire. Dude, who cares? They are they're one of the most destructive forces I've ever seen. Even though it says they they got poor rate of fire, that basically means the rate of fire is how many times they shoot per minute, basically, or per second. Or how long does it take for them to, you know, reload and shoot? Uh, which is still pretty decent. Probably one of the best in game. Again, I haven't seen any other faction being better than these guys and what they do. <sighs> yeah, but for today, I, I was just not feeling Warhammer. And... I've been wanting to play as the Hunts again. Because it's been a while since the last time we played them. The last time we actually played the the other Hunts. The actual Hunts. These are the White Hunts. Matter of State. Ill Omens in the Sky. Oh, shit. A shaman comes before you claiming to have seen a vision in which the skies darken at, at your advance. He says that you will bring about the end of the days. Perhaps there is something you can do to change to change your future. Well, that is actually pretty good that we are bringing the end of the days. Let him live. Maybe that's gonna have some consequences for us. Don't care, bro. <laughs> Come sit, share my fire. That unit experience plus three for cavalry units. That is definitely really decent, but. Um, the other bonuses are also pretty nice. Holy. Extra 400 income. 300 income, but the horde building construction cost minus 5%. Damn, I want all of it. Extra income, extra growth when you're encamped. Two growth. Growth factor. Growth next turn, 22. Why is it? Six because of building and food. Oh, shit. Does it mean if you have more food, we're going to get more growth? 
Um, okay, here we got 45 food. We are getting 6 growth. We get 6 growth for 25. Ready for action. 6 growth for 119. Oh, I think that comes from the food surplus. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. To work. that eastern separatists Eastern where the Latinos? fuck did they go oh imagine if they're in an ambush definitely finding this battle manually definitely i think they forced march down over here it is possible it is possible that they actually forced march down over there to just run away they're freaking pussies they're not gonna stay and fight against 24 units of hans For the gods. For the gods. Okay, 300 more income, 5% less building cost, and 2 extra growth. Or just 400 extra income. This is better. I don't even need to think about it. Let them cower. Yeah, just... Just keep sacking these so we level up our characters and you know get a little bit of money That definitely is not going to hurt Raider band and extortion extra income and Extra ransom income from the captives Hmm, yep, that's around 1k that is definitely pretty good, but we need to replenish. That is... Some of them are damaged, but it's not that big of a deal. To be honest. I can't afford to fight this battle, like, auto-resolve this battle again. Because I auto-resolve one battle, and I my armies got wrecked. That was the reason I kind of had to get rid of most of my melee calf units. Well, we didn't lose any, but again, they lost a lot of soldiers, which caused me to just prefer to disband them rather than keep them and just pay their upkeep, even though they were super damaged. It would take them a couple of turns at least. Some of them seven, six, seven, eight turns um, to fully recover. Let's just keep them on the very back. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna sally out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Freaking idiots are actually sallying out. We have sighted the enemy. Our reinforcements enter the fray. Force archers. Yeah, let's kill their kill these boys. Uh, keep them in the back again. I know we only have limited number of melee cav units, but who, get, who the fuck cares? Horse archers are miles better than those guys because they can, you know, have a lot, you know, provide a lot more value for you in the battlefield. They can kill without getting any casualties, and the only thing you're losing is their ammunition, which is gonna get restocked. After, you know, for every single battle. Okay, you guys. Use the precision shots. Just kill these guys. I think that's... Oh, 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 oh. Get away from the trees. Get away from the trees. They're gonna get exhausted, but whatever. Get away from trees, because we can lose... Well, we are losing some morale for sure. I mean, our morale is freaking crazy, but still. Let's catch the attention of that guy, the horse unit. Beware! Our hidden units have been revealed. Horse 
Oh, the Lord is right over there. Okay, let's... Don't mind if I actually go and kill him. Extra speed, boys. Come on. Precision shots. I need to give them a little bit of a rest. Ah, uh, we're not losing that many entities. That is cool. Okay, let's just go for the lords. Yeah, that dude is also dead. Rest in peace. Let's keep them right over here. There is another horse unit. Uh, they are kind of exhausted. Yeah, that is not good. I, I should probably give them a little bit of a rest. Yeah, everyone have a little bit of rest. Until we go for the rest of them. Oh! Oh shit, horse archers. No, 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 no. Okay, horse archers, you're probably not gonna have any rest. Their horse archers are not harassing us. It's probably one of the most annoying units to deal with as the AI or the player. Yeah, definitely as a player, the most annoying unit to deal with for me personally is the horse archers in Attila. Not in Warhammer. Warhammer, you got like monsters that are really fast that can, you know, or lords. Announce that are pretty fast that they can just send to kill the horse archers or any skirmish calf Or any skirmish units enemies bring to the battlefield Um, all right, they're very tired. They're not exhausted anymore These guys though most of them that had the precision shot are still exhausted Yeah, when we get the fletching we're gonna have even more ammunition to use on our enemies Catch the attention of this cav unit. Actually, let's kill their lord. The rest of them. It's just gonna be a piece of cake. Dealing with them. Okay, the attention of this guy is caught. Let's go, run away. You guys are either tired or very tired. That's good. You're not exhausted anymore. You guys deal with the lord. sure this guy is out of the range of the towers mm, okay some of our forces might actually do some entities yeah that guy took uh, half casualties I think yeah almost half of their units are dead Keep our forces away from the range of their towers because their towers are going to be devastating. And we can't really do anything about them. And even if we want to capture them, I have. A f yeah, I have these two that have excellent capture power. They could capture pretty fast. But they're definitely going to lose some entities. It's better to just use infantry units to capture these. And we don't have any infantry units whatsoever. So. I would say don't worry about them. You guys stop shooting. They're not gonna shoot, they're just gonna run away. Yeah, their lord is running away, fair enough. Keep them around these guys. By the way, let's bring all of them in. Why is Amaral going down? Oh, look at their morale. E5? <laughs> what the hell? That is like some insane level of morale on basic. Well, they're not basic horse archers, but they're horse archers regardless. Okay, the Lord is actually coming after us. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. You're still exhausted. Let's use their precision shots. Okay, all of you go to heavy shots. Then go precision shots. Uh, the Lord is almost dead. 
Yeah, General has fallen. Nice. Okay, you guys actually stop shooting. Uh, go into heavy shots. Heavy shots has bonus soldiers and infantry, so we should be able to wreck them pretty nicely. I can, you know, try to bring them over here and then shoot them from the back, but not gonna matter really. Because they don't have that many forces and we have enough ammunition to not really worry about shooting them from the back. Because obviously, if you shoot them from the back, if they have any shields, uh, the missile block chance from it is not gonna get applied. Yeah, they're getting broken one after the other. Uh, Lord recently died, negative 15, friends are adding. Well, basically, there is... It's really easy to cause, like, uh, mass routes in, like, the older historical games. Or it's, like, fairly easier than Warhammer. Because in Warhammer, there's, like, many other factors contributing to the morale. That we don't even have those in Attila. But we have some of those, but not all of it. And there we go, armor losses. Beautiful. A glorious victory yeah, just keep these guys around. Let me just finish off these units of theirs. I don't want to go into melee combat before I... Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. But let's just finish them off. The thing is, if the enemy has like in like four stacks, probably we're not going to have a fun time. But if you're fighting them 1v1, we can beat any army 1v1. It doesn't really matter what like faction they are. Rome, it could be the heaviest of infantries. We can break them. It could be the heaviest of cavalry, the heaviest of archers. Who can? Like, no one cares. Because, you know, everyone is going to go down to, like, archers. They might have, like, insane amount of armor or even shields. But it's not going to matter if you shoot them from the back. Ah, uh, yeah. Sack this. For the pride. Um. <laughs> Get moving. All right, all right, all right. So let's um, that army like down south has like a twenty stack. Thirteen, twelve. Let me get another Spetsion. I fucking love these guys, man. This is. Yeah, I was definitely missing out playing as the actual hunts and not the white hunts. I was missing out on these Spetsions. They're freaking awesome. And they're just a little bit more expensive than the Honey Horse Archers. That's the beauty of it. How can I help? Yeah, obviously, the 3% upkeep cost definitely helps. Mm, that is also pretty decent. Holy shit. All of these are good, bro. We can have another stacks. No. Don't need to. Probably can't even support the other stack. These don't make that much money. No, they make a fair amount of money, but it's just not enough. Uh, we got the base income of 3,000, and then taxes are making us around 7,300. Ooh, integrity growth. I mean, we could, we could deal with that. Some more money. Which means more units. Uh, integrity minus four. It is still positive, but that is because we fought the battle this turn. As long as we fight a battle, that shouldn't be a problem. Just should be a problem with the growth itself. Uh, no, 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 no. Just, just put that at the same level it was. At the normal tax rate. I would rather have more growth than more tax. 
Because with growth, we can... With more growth, we can upgrade our buildings a little bit faster and make more money overall. Oh, by the way, we're going to get... Uh, as soon as we finish this civic research res researching, we're going to get extra three growth for all of our uh, hordes. Yep, decree... Yeah, both of these guys are Dread Riders. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck, this is bugged? Oh, no, <laughs> dude, shit. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, that has gotten bugged for some reason. Let's go with balance. I think I should have gone with protective, but whatever. I can just keep sacking these. I don't need to get out of here because I don't need the money at the moment that much. I just need the extra experience for the Lord and also the army. According to Vicky, the Spezion means white hunts. Oh shit, really? I mean, I, I knew that you could only get them at the, as the White Hunts. Wait, that's... that's oh, shit. Horde growth plus five. Oh, extra one authority, cunning, and zeal. That These are some amazing stuff. Campaign movement range. Oh, yeah, dude. Spetsions are freaking crazy. Melee, inf <laughs> Melee infantry. Nice joke. Don't need them. Who needs melee infantry? I uh, probably should fight these battles manually just so we take a little bit less damage. Uh, extra income from sacking, extra income from raiding, extra charge bonus, and recruitment cost deduction for our forces. Or be praised. Oh, we can't get there. I might not be able to get to in-camp sense, so I'm just not going to risk it. And go right over here. Starting out. Okay, just ignore that city Let's down go. there. Just go protective. Damn, this is still bugged. Extra research rate for civil development. Um, ooh, unit experience plus three for cav units. Hey, yo, don't mind it if I get some more. Yeah, we can't get it until next turn, though. Ready for so if someone is on a, if someone is a dread rider, and they also get that, that's gonna be extra six rank. Holy hell! I mean, these guys are definitely not really leveling up that much. Some of them are, but not that much. Some of them already started with level three. For one growth there. How many more turns? Two more turns for that. Do you have any influencing power over CA or are you powerless like Legend? Would love to see CA giving some love to this game. Um, I was part of the um, creator program for CA before they 
kind of, I don't know if, if the if the word is correct, but dismantled it. I'm not part of the new one that they have made. So, yeah, even then, I, I, I was kind of powerless. I couldn't tell them, yeah, yeah, give this game some love. They would be like, yeah, sure. But, you know, probably wouldn't do anything about it. Um, and I'm not part of the new one that they've made, at least yet. I'm not part of it. Maybe because I already applied. I don't know if I'm get going to get into it. I like definitely I talk my shit when Shadows of Change came out. So probably they, they saw that they didn't like it. Maybe not. Maybe it's not even because of that. Maybe it's just because I didn't cut it for them. I don't know. Um, yeah, whatever is the case, I'm not in their creative program at the moment. Uh, it's, it's okay. It would have been nice, but it is what it is. Who cares, bro? Early access was definitely nice, but it is what it is. If I have it, that's great. If I don't have it, I don't care. I just do what I do. <laughs> I'm not even playing Warhammer at the moment, so... Well, the the new uh, new content creator program is only for Warhammer. It's not for, like, the historical titles or anything. The one that was before, that was... That was the general... Uh, like, group that we had. What is this? Assassinate the following... Character. I... Don't really Ready care that much if we kill him or not. Yeah, it's auto resolve this. That guy's dead. I mean, we didn't assassinate him, but he's, he's dead. Killed him. Are we gonna get that? Come on, man. That is fucking bullshit. This should have given us that. Mm, okay. Oh, he also got that. Oh, yeah, he also got that. Oh, he, but he equipped, he equipped it right away. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's go down south. Or, no, 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 no. Let's go to Murf. There's a settlement over here. What is that? Raga. That is basically, I think, Tehran. Is that Tehran? I'm not sure. Ekbatana. Gonzaga. Paitak. Karan. Yeah, I was I was born here in Tehran. Well, I think it's called Raga here, but I was actually born here. Thanks, Rancel. We'll send you some love and I'll get it employed again. Dude, you don't need to, but you know, just being here, that is uh that is great enough for me. You know, I hope you enjoyed the content for sure. Um but yeah, if I actually got into program, I will let you guys know. Uh Okay, there is two settlements. Sapahan has a gold mine. Okay, definitely has to have a lot of money. Are they at war with... Okay, they're not at war with the Eastern Roman Empire. Yasinitz. Sabarus. There is another... Yeah, that's another horde faction. Os and Himyar. I think Himyar is in Arabia Felix. I, I don't know where exactly, but it has to be somewhere over here. Yeah, these settlements are... Oh, especially this one. Pora is making a lot of money. Sapahan, that is also making a lot of money. I think Raga is actually a minor settlement. Not exactly sure. Um, okay. Take this settlement for the tribe. Uh, let's fight the battle manually just so you don't take. Hmm. Yeah, let's fight the battle manually because next turn I want to move out of here and go to either Abashi here. Or was it? Is it Abershahar? I'm not exactly sure. Abashahar or Abershah. All the YouTubers are powerless if they don't care about legend with 500k subs. They don't care about anyone. That is fair. That is. Fair. They well, they did it like address some of the things that we asked them to address. 
as in you know them fixing up some freaking box in game in Warhammer 3 but I think more than that I think they're kind of powerless I kind of feel like which, which kind of sucks I mean maybe maybe in the new creator program things are gonna be different I'm not I'm not sure I'm not part of it I, I have no idea Art Legend saying uh, that some people have some power, but mainly over Warhammer 3. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think, you know, the historical people have any power, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, definitely, lo I love, obviously I got introduced to Total War with historical titles, with Rome, Total War. To okay, that is negative 7 more ammo, I take no defense. But honestly, I don't expect them to do to listen to anything I say. So it's just whatever. Like the only nice thing that comes out of the creator program is the fact that you're gonna get early access to the content, and also I get to have CD keys to actually give away to my community, which I did two times when I had, you know, had that power. Um, you know, gave away the DLCs. I think I gave it like three, yeah, three DLCs, three CD keys when I had, you know, when I was it's part of the creator program. All I've been seeing is fixes related with some OP stuff and not the game itself. Uh, yeah, they, there's still like, it's really important things they the have to address, but they haven't yet, hopefully. I mean, like the hot fixes, I'm gonna be honest, it's it's been pretty nice. It's been reviving the game to some degree, but again, there is some more important stuff they need to fix. Yeah, I think we are gonna take absolutely zero damage or zero casualties, rather. Damn. Ah, it sucks to be them. Holy shit. Enemy general is fallen. Enemy general is fallen. Let me actually check out the spetsions. Damn, they look cool. A glorious victory will soon be yours. Uh, well, the shields are kind of basic. They look nice though. Heavily armed. Amazing stats and stuff like that. Um, Anatorian has influence, but that's more for multiplayer balance. Well, that is... I mean, you gotta start with somewhere, you know what I mean? You can... They can't just go from not listening to, you know... N well, they listen to some of the criticism, criticism, but not all the time, you know what I mean? But it's not like that they're fucking deaf or like act completely deaf to people's thoughts, but... They don't go ahead and just implement every single thing people want straight away. But again, they, they gotta start somewhere. Uh, oh shit, okay, they haven't even built that back up. Okay, going for Behdeser. It's kind of, it's kind of weird pronouncing these in the English way. <laughs> I think it's Behdashir. I think that's... I don't know why it's S and not, not S-H. Not exactly sure. I was playing yesterday Greenskins and there is a settlement map that has an imaginary bridge that everyone climbs. Uh, <laughs> there is there's like a beastman settlement that part of the like map is impassable, but it shouldn't be impassable. It's like a normal ground, but it's actually impassable terrain. It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> oh god. And you know what? Ignore Murph, just go down south. Don't ignore it actually. Go go for this settlement of Murph. I'm gonna go attack Abershah next. Wait, did we sack that? I think we did. Yes. Have we already moved? 
use a little bit of movement. Oh shit, they're not gonna be able to reinforce each other. 12 units. Is this gonna be enough against... I think even 12 units is gonna be enough. Alright. How about we recruit like two Spetsions? Okay, go back into in-camp stance. Can we build anything up? Nope. Now nah, would have been a great time to actually use this guy on him to hinder his movement a little bit. What do you want? Okay, so uh, we're going to get completely fucked if one of them attacks. We kill them, but we take a little bit of damage and the other one attacks. Oh, this army is shit. They only have archers. Archers are really easy to deal with. Horses, they're also easy. I mean, any, any unit is basically easy to deal with, most likely. Probably the strongest unit enemies could have is horse archers against our horse archers. They're probably not going to have a chance unless they bring like a half stack of horse archers, which is not going to, never going to happen. We need to attack a settlement and capture a gate. A gate by climbing the ladders. All units climb the ladders with the bloody gate open and get tired by that. So, you know what you can do to fix that? Don't put any ladders to begin with. And just try to bring one unit through the gate at a time that that is that is it you know kind of a solution to this freaking mess of a bug uh but at least you know we can do that be welcome they're still strength ranking third but you know the sassanids and the East, eastern and western roman empire they're not going to go below their starting faction strength until like turn 50 60 70 even if you you know destroy most of the settlements but i wanted to sneak them with the nasty sculptures oh <laughs> all right then that's no oh, all right that is not gonna work well how about wait if you attack a gate with nasty sculptures or any unit that has stock are they gonna get exposed to the like, are, are the enemies going to see them? Because if you jump off the walls, as long as they don't have any towers nearby, they're not going to see your, you know, um, stalking units. But, oh, they do? Okay, then that's... Yeah, I, I just don't like sieges in Warhammer 3. I, I like the sieges in uh, like Attila, Rome, and even Thrones of Britannia. Like, god damn it. Thrones of Britannia has a better siege battles than freaking Warhammer. Ba like, siege battles in Warhammer are just fucking boring. It's like the most boring part about Warhammer 3. It's, it's an amazing game, but like, sieges are just the most boring part about it. I would rather auto resolve every siege battles unless it's a defensive siege. That is a different story. You fucking idiot. You attack these guys that have more horse archers. I mean these sort these guys are damaged. Um I can always just use all of my ammunition and just run away. They gotta attack me again. Oh, perfect battle map. I just gotta hide these guys. There is no job. I mean, there is. There was a couple of trees here and there. I think. Uh, is that a tree? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's another thing in the terrain. It is actually one tree. Well, we can hide. Actually, oh my god, we can hide. It's not a tree, it's a scrubs. Scrubs. Um, which are. Maybe they can hide there. There is no terrain feature to actually hide our forces. Um, that's okay. I'm just going to put them at the very back. We need to kill their horses, and then their archers are a piece of cake. Like, dealing with them is a piece of cake. Go flaming shots. Oh, they're coming. We are outnumbered. Oh, outnumbered. All right. That is that is fine. I just need to catch their horse's attention. 
Uh, they got six of them. Yeah, the rest of them are what? Archers. All of them are actually archers. Four mil units. Yeah, that's easy. Hey, stick and stones. How you doing, dude? And by the way, we do have the precision shots, but we should only use it if we need to. Like, if they're getting too close and um, yeah, we need to, like, kill them as fast as possible. Yeah, they're coming after these guys. They're not going for the mill units. Yeah, this one is going down. Definitely flaming shots is the way to go. Against these horse units. It's extremely effective. Okay, they're going white. That is fine. That is not going to help them. That is not going to help them one bit. Okay, they're not going to get any kills. Oh. Uh, well, most of these guys are fresh. There we go. Two more are dead. There's two more plus the Lord. We gotta go for the Lord himself. Missile Cav is useless in this game. I wonder when they introduce that stupid bug that makes a whole unit fire the same entity in Warhammer 3. It's... I think that that bug was introduced recently. Bro, this... Uh, these horse archers are freaking amazing. They're probably the best horse archers in... Well, Missile Cav in any Total War games ever. Well, we did have the Armenian horses. They were also pretty good, but they're not in the Rome too. But they're not even close to these guys. In terms of strength, these guys shed on those guys, in my opinion. Especially Spetsions. I mean, I don't have any Spetsions in this. Um, yeah, just don't shoot. Okay, you guys go that way. I've really been since War Lunge of Warhammer 3 kiss the horse archers are just trash. Surprisingly, they're pretty good against like uh, monstrous um, infantry units or monstrous units. Now, I guess like infantry, they're not that good, but against uh, units that have like less entities, like 16, 24 entities or less. They do a lot more better. Like against Cav, they do okay. Against Monsters Infantry, they do great. Against single entities, I'm not exactly sure how good they do against single entities though. I'm pretty excited to see a full Cav charge into those archers. Oh, it's gonna happen. But I gotta deal with their uh, Lord first. So we do a little bit of a debuff. Let's use the heavy shots. Actually, I shouldn't shoot the archers. Kind of spread out. Uh, yeah, we're actually not shooting. Okay, extra speed. Look at this fucker. He's just... You know, being at the back. That's cool. I wish there was a way to buff their ammo. There is a buff the ammo of the horse archers of Kislev. Oh, so I thought you were talking about the horse archers over here. Because, you know, there is like fletching. Um... There's a, yeah, there's a building that gives you up to extra 15% ammo in this. And also the Lord has uh, skills that increase the ammo. Look at this motherfucker. All right, I can't do this shit. Okay, fuck that. Let's go in. Let's kill this one. I mean, if they start shooting, we're fucked. Okay, charge into this. That is a big mistake. Yeah, they're fucked. Uh, let's go for these guys. Come on. We're losing some entities. Oh, that's not good. I should have gone for that lord. I mean, I could divide and conquer for sure. Oh, look at this guy. He is taking too much damage, but that's gonna remove three of the units from the battle. Look at that. They're just, their entities are just melting. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let them shoot. Don't let them shoot. Just 
push through them. I'm not gonna start shooting just yet. Fuck it. Let's shoot. Yeah, that was not good. I'm gonna be honest. That was a mistake. I, I, I knew I shouldn't have done that, but... I know even though we, like, killed two units, that was just not good enough. Look at these fuckers. Got 65 kills. I should have finished them off first and then did what I did. Oh, that was... That was nasty. This reminds me I still have to make that Horn 1 army for you. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Please, no. Yep, that was that was freaking. Oh my god, look at this motherfucker! Got like hundred kills. The enemy have rallied their units. Ooh, okay, increase your. Kill this guy. Increase your damage. Oh my god, that was that was horrible. He killed hundred twenty units. That's basically. A unit and half. Shit. That was a big mistake. I am an idiot for doing that. Okay, so the damaged ones, let's put them at the back. Keep a couple damaged ones over here. Rest of you, you guys go this way. I'm gonna try to flank this Lord of theirs. Go heavy shots. Go heavy shots until you're close to the Lord. Funny enough, that would have worked with the Horn once. Blob. I mean, they got more like armor and they're tankier. These guys are not tanky. On the other hand, there is another horse archer we have, other, you know, other than these Hunnic horse archers and the steep mountain bows. Um, that is extremely good at doing dealing with blob, you know, going in a blob because they got like shit on armor. Yeah, keep going back. That's probably gonna die. Actually, don't shoot. Just, just go break this one. Okay, bring them in. Um, it wasn't great, but again, that's fine because I can recruit these guys at tier uh, three, anyways. Yeah, I married some of them. That's okay. I need to save some shots for the Lord. Run, Kersia. Yeah, I keep going after these guys. Okay, go for them. Okay, just shoot this guy. I should have brought them in a little bit earlier. Oh, they're almost broken. We, we gotta kill the Lord to actually inflict any... Oh! Oh my guy, get the hell out of there! What's wrong with you? Okay, these guys are kind of isolated now. We can go fuck them up. The men are broken and are fleeing. Shit, where is this guy? Oh no.
Okay, now we get to shoot this guy at the back. 52 entities. Come on. Fine, isolated. One of our units can no longer fire. Okay, we got ammunition on these guys, but they should keep them away from this man. He is... Well, it doesn't say he's good against other calf. Yeah, we're getting them pretty nicely. You guys also keep shooting. You go back, go back. They're already damaged. Okay, you guys come in. Now it's your time to shoot this this brother because he is doing well he's gonna do a lot of damage if you don't kill him with the horse archers actually keep them right over here and that was a fake charge good get back probably should have saved their ammunition and use it a little bit better I used it Extra ammunition, sorry, extra missile damage, what am I saying? Always have a difficulty using our cav armies, select individual units to attack separate units. They can charge probably if they blow up. Uh, that is that is true. Definitely as Britonia, it's kinda annoying sometimes that you always have to, you know, heavily micromanage it. I kinda like it though. Again, the main reason I like it is because of Attila. Lord is not dead. Come on, let's kill the Lord. Now their leadership is not... I mean, it's still good. Because the Lord is still alive. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't shoot. Okay, we can sandwich this guy. We can ham sandwich out of this bitch. The Lord is almost dead. Two more entities to kill. I mean, these guys have good melee stats as well. Okay, this guy is isolated. What are you guys doing? Two entities killed the last one. They killed the Lord. Okay, we should attack the direction they're not facing. Yeah, they're gonna get broken pretty fast. Well, if the Lord would have died, that would have been even faster. How many units have they killed? Three units, yeah, that is, that is not gonna happen. They're not gonna win that, no chance. Okay, let's try to separate them a little bit better. Running, cowards. Ah, you freaking cowards. Uh, 14 entities, so that is not dead yet. Okay, this is broken. The Lord is still not dead. How the hell is that possible? Yeah, they're broken. Okay, this guy still has some ammo. Uh, morale is still holding up. I have to kill this guy. I don't know why they're not killing him. Two entities coming now. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with these guys. Okay, this one is isolated. It's not good enough, though. Bring three units there. Three units there. I have to bring one back. Okay, in order to make a proper sandwich... We need to encircle them. If we can kill the Lord, that would be a bonus. I 
I think we have killed the Lord. I don't know why it doesn't say that we've killed the Lord. Okay, there is no chance I'm gonna charge in my Lord first. Four units that can actually attack this. Yep, that is a goner. Uh, Lord is still alive. How the hell is that possible? We just killed the Lord. Attacking our general. Yeah, the morale is going down. Frightened by the enemy units. Bringing more units. The mercenary deal on my warrior. That is going to be easier to kill than the spearmen. Almost broken. It is broken. Get out of there. Actually, keep that in the back. Can manage to do that. How much ammunition do we have? Two ammunition. There's a swordsman. Yeah, okay, just finish them off as many as you can kill. What is there? Actually, check out their morale. 24. General fled recently. Oh, he fled. He didn't die. That was a fake one. Good. Yeah, they're overwhelmed, and the leadership is negative. There we go, arm lost. Yeah, that is arm lost. That's there we go. The day is yours. Ah, lovely stuff. We took it. Well, yeah, we lost soldiers, but I'm gonna take the replenishment, so we're gonna recover some of them. I just fast forward it until we kill every single one of them and then we can end the battle guys if you enjoyed the content don't forget to like this stream because uh, it's definitely gonna help it uh, get more exposed to more people and also if you haven't already subscribed because you know I do streams every week couple times at least Warhammer historical titles titles and um maybe in the near future we're gonna do some crusader kings as well because crusader kings i'll be honest it's one of my favorite games other than total war i mean i love paradox games in general it's, it's not only crusader kings i love like hearts of iron uh imperator rome i don't like hearts of iron that much europa universalis victoria 3 i love all of these games look at that we killed almost every single one of them 70 units survived 70 entities survived but only two units actually survived 12 percent replenishment and we're gonna take replenishment over the intern it is the intern okay he leveled up i'm not sure if it was only him or his army as well oh you motherfucker Boba. This can attack us again? Oh, it can't. Okay, thank God. <laughs> um, damn, bro, look at this shit. Okay, I can I can attack this with the both of them. Yeah, with both of them, let's attack. Dad, you don't need all the movement. You just stay there, go into a camp stance. Uh, it's only the Lord himself that leveled up. Yeah, that's that's all right. Horde growth or integrity is alright. Missile damage. Yeah, five percent more. Actually, let me check if that actually applies. Missile damage of fifty-five on this guy with twenty-two units. Oh, it definitely does fifty-seven. 
Public order, that is crap. Morale plus 15 versus Eastern Empires. That is definitely good. I mean, honestly, morale is not a problem. Our, I'm not a, you know, exact sure about these guys, but these Spet Zions actually have like 85 morale or something in the battlefield. It's freaking insane. I mean, maybe it's only on his... Oh, he does have the morale plus 15 versus Eastern Empires in, um, as one of his household things. Fair enough. Let's go into that. Extra charge bonus. Lovely. Hopefully, we're not going to lose that many entities. Uh, lost two entities. 2% replenishment rate. Okay, they're definitely gonna come and reinforce this main army. Okay, dude. Stick and stones. If you thought the other horse archers were good, take a look at these guys. So let me actually show the other horse archer for the reference. Just look at their stats, and then I'm gonna show you the other horse archer that I'm talking about, the Spet Zion archers. So these are the Honic horse archers. They are really decent. 25 melee attack, 40 melee damage, which four of it is armor piercing. Yeah, it's all right. For the horse archer, definitely amazing. Charge bonus of 16 melee, de melee defense, 47 armor, 20 health, 192. Men HP 82, mount HP 110. It actually has two different hit uh, hit boxes. Um, morale 39, speed 100. Missile damage, 57, 16 of it is armor piercing, and 26 ammunition. Okay. For the tribe. These guys, though, look at, take a look at them. Uh, actually, For this one was with... I don't know which one I was looking at, but may, it may have been like rank 3 or 2. So Warrior this soul. is... The Spet Zion Archers. This is a specific unit for the White Hans, not the other Honic factions. So this one is a little bit more expensive in terms of upkeep. That one was around like, like the base upkeep is like 310. This is 376. Uh, 63 melee attack, 32 melee damage, 24 eight armor piercing, 24 base weapon damage and eight armor piercing, 32 charge bonus, 38 melee defense. 75 armor, 25 base value, 50 shield value, 224 health, uh, morale of 47, speed of 100, <laughs> missile damage of 51, 39 base damage, 12 armor piercing damage, and 26 ammunition. And on top of that, they do have the rapid advance, 50% extra speed. I mean, the other one also has uh, both of these. Uh, extra 50% speed for 30 seconds and also the precision shot which is 50% more missile damage but um, for 30 seconds but you're gonna have you're gonna be exhausted uh, four different shots they're resistant to fatigue as long as you don't use the uh, precision shots they can hide whatever nothing too special fireball moving and the Parthian shot which means they can shoot 360 degrees absolutely amazing those guys are better than I'm used to on Cav. Uh, those are much better in combat and a little easier to hit, but good armor definitely helped out. Yeah, like, <laughs> um, like these guys got kind of got melted against their horse archers, but these guys are not gonna melt as easy as that. I mean, they might might melt if there's a couple of horse archers shooting at them, in if they're in the blob. Oh, you little pussy! He ran away. <laughs> I can ignore... No, no, let's finish him off. For the gods. Come, sit. Share my fire. Starting out. For the tribe. Quar be praised. How can I help? I think I can't actually... Oh my god, I can't actually go into in-camp stats. Anymore. Ready for battle. Yeah, the least I can do is finish them off. Um, yeah, we gotta fight the battle manually. Oh, I thought his name is Uber. Ubar. Obar. Uh, at least... Four horses. I think they have two more horses there. 
as well. Fight the battle manually. Guys, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, uh, the link is in the description. Join the Discord because I announce, I usually announce on the Discord before I go live. Um, or either I announce or my mod Uncle Gary announces. Okay, let's hide right over there. Actually, right over here, it's probably better. If we can even hide. No, we can't. Well, we should be able to hide. Oh, we're hidden. There we go. Let's go bitch slap them. Two horse archers. I gotta be careful about these horse archers. These fuckers did a lot of damage last time. Good news! Additional forces have arrived! Imagine a sort of cord <laughs> landing right over here. <laughs> oh god, that would that would absolutely fuck us up. <laughs> but again, thank god we don't have any of that any of that shit over here. <laughs> that would have been that would have been really bad, dude. Yeah, it wouldn't really blow up in environment that, like this crazy. If enemy has like abilities like that or like spells that can damage blobs. Okay, get into position, guys. I don't want to get these guys too close. Okay, their horses are coming. Let's go back. There is no need to use any of our precision shots yet. Oh, the Lord is at their back. Why are we killing them? Oh, they're dying. Okay, two horse archers. We gotta kill these horse archers ASAP. These guys at the back. You also get into position right there. Okay, one more horse archer is dead. He did absolutely zero kills. That's what's up. Well, he did get some kills, motherfucker. Come on, get closer to this guy. Are these like... Oh, cataphracts. Hold on, before we kill them. Yeah, they're definitely different than the Parthian uh, cataphracts. And, or even the Armenian cataphracts we had in Rome 2, for sure. Oh, 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 shit! For a second, I wasn't looking, and they got fucked. Got out of there. Almost. Okay, we gotta do precision shots. That's the kind of situation we need to use the precision shots for. Just get out of shitty messes like this. Come on. Get rid of this guy. Yep, he's going down. Good dirty motherfucker. Die. Enemy units have been rallied. There we go. Oh now they're gonna be they're gonna be exhausted when the precision shot finishes. Oh, they're exhausted. Yep. Shit. Well, they're going really slowly because they're actually it doesn't matter. Just run. Start killing this guy. Okay, go back. Yeah, sucks to be him. He's losing entities and he's not even going for our forces. Maybe he is. No, he's just sitting there and getting the shots. Yeah, let's finish him off. Enemy general is dead. General Beautiful. Victory grows ever nearer. You guys stop shooting. Now we're gonna go shoot them from the front and also from the back. 
Let's go with heavy shots. It's gonna be kind of stupid to just charge them in from the front. Eh? Yeah, let's just bring these guys to the backs. I'm gonna start shooting. What's their range? Yeah, we gotta go to the Warhammer Vicky if you wanna check that. Get them close. So these guys actually run back. Yep, there we go. And then we shoot them from the back. Oh, don't get too close to the javelins. Okay, Let's go with the precision shots. Go back a little bit more. Pretty soon we can actually use the precision shots again. Okay, don't get too close, don't get too close. Don't let them get too close. You guys also go with precision shots. Yeah, they're they're goners. Oh 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 no 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 get away, get away, get away. They got javelins and shit. Shouldn't allow them to get too close. Uh, yeah, most of them are exhausted, obviously, because we use the precision shots. Yeah, they even haven't had the time to actually start shooting. As soon as we, they get into, we get into range, we get these guys out of that shit. Out of the range again. But we're going to be in range because we can, you know, shoot while moving. They can't. I love the Hans, man. This is just too good. Yeah, their melee units are almost gone. Then we can just charge them in and kill the missile units. I'm actually not going to charge them in. I'm just going to shoot the missile units with the... Shots... Of their archers. Exactly like the melee units and their cav units. Yeah, one stack does not have a chance against any of our stacks whatsoever. The enemy are losing their yeah, no matter what kind of forces they have in their stack. Oh shit, we're actually losing units to our own shots. Not good. Damn, that was pretty super. We lost a couple of NCs to that. To ourselves. There we go, that's armor losses. Just keep our forces away from their units so we don't actually shoot our own. It's like idiots. The day is yours. There we go. Yeah, let's fast forward this one. Uh, yeah, we can do precision shots at the moment. Who just finish this one dude off, and then we can end the battle. I love this man. It's so sad. There's like something about skirmish calf, or like actually these are not skirmish. Well, these this can be counted as skirmish calf. But skirmish cav usually be called the uh, like the ca calves that have like javelin skirmish calves. These are like horse archers. Take on warriors, some replenishment, and uh, I can get there. Can you? Yeah, I can finish them off. Well, since the other guy couldn't go into in-camp stance anymore, I could have just... For the tribe. Oh, yeah, force march him over here and then... Mm, that that could have been done. Oh, no, why did he go to the other side of the river? 
Ready for battle. I don't care how tired you are. Don't care how tired you are. Let's get you over don't there. You're not gonna get any replenishment, and we're not gonna get you into in camp stance. That means we're gonna get less money. This turn. Please don't be an arm there. There's not. Yeah, that's an easy auto resolve. Well, I could have fought the battle to absolutely take zero damage, zero casualties, but whatever. Yeah, most of them are gonna recover. He leveled up. Let me see what I can give him. Extra missile damage and extra charge bonus plus five percent. Yes. Oh shit, we can upgrade uh, one of these. Which one should I do? Upgrade. Uh, not that. Extra 400 coins. Yes. Extra food surplus could give us extra horde growth. But I have already gotten this one. Extra 3 growth when encamped. Unfortunately, this army is not going to get it. Wait, what is that? 2,500 coins. Plus one horde growth. Faction wide. That is definitely nice. Can't really deny that. Replenishment plus 2%. Supply acquisition. Okay, so Carpenter's Yurt and Metal Worker's Yurt. That is one of them is extra 5% weapon strength if you build it for the whole army. Well, well it's it, it has to be upgraded. They're not going to just get it. Extra 5% ammunition. Oh, don't even look at the rest of it. Except 5 just for the extra 5% ammunition. 5% on 25. That is around 1 to 2. 1.25. But with the other bonuses we have, it might go up to 2. These guys have 26 ammunition. I think there's extra ammunition over here or is it the army yes extra six percent ammunition over here from the lord extra okay no ammunition yeah no extra ammunition from here oh there we go sorry my bad four percent ammunition there so in total we can get ten percent extra ammunition from the lord and the army 5% ammunition from there. That is 15% extra ammunition on top of, let's say, 26. Because Spetsions have 26. Uh, that is actually 4 extra ammunition. Damn. And, and, there's also... Uh, this. Which is 15% extra ammunition. So 30% extra ammunition on top of the 26. That is X, X, what am I saying? X, X ammunition. Eight extra ammunition on top of 26, which is going to be 34 ammunition for every single horse archer. Wow, dude, that is freaking scary. Yes. Okay, this is undefended now. Okay, they build this up. I can sack it with this or maybe sack it with him. Then he's going to go back to Merv. He's going to follow. But from the other side of the river. That I don't really like that. But it is what it is. I don't know if they have any forces around here. What is that? Spices? Water province. Salt and spices. And yeah, that is pretty good. Even if anyone attacks us, we should be good. As long as there's like not more than like one stack. Any army, I can sort it out. I am here then. Wait, let's see how much the Assassin of the Empire hates us. Negative 459. Military actions against Arya, negative 110. I've been sacking the Rast for like couple turns i mean i you know came down here a couple turns ago
Damn, dude. It's it's been pretty fun. But let me actually check the poll out. Out of 40 votes, 60% of people have said that they've played Attila. That is I expected it to be a lot more lower. But that is definitely interesting. Alright. Alright, cool. Cool. Oh shit, I forgot to... Yeah, of course that guy ran away. Yes. Moving and seeing. Go this way. My work is done. These are Macran's land. Is it Macran? Is it called Macran? Yeah. I am the light in the dark. Moving and seeing. To work. We cannot do that. Warriors all. Besieging settlement. I'm kind of afraid one of these units is going to die. No one died. Oh, thank God. At least no one died from this army. I'm not sure if anyone died from the other army. I don't think so. Get Imagine there's, if there's a full sack around Next here. Command. No, there's not. Okay, good. Get over here, go into in camp stance. Is there nothing else? Yeah, they're, these guys are damaged, that's fine. And there's Abershar. I think I can get a lot of money out of sacking that. Ready for action. Let them cover. See how much damage we 22 casualties, that's fine. Sack the, the settlement. The Level up the army. I think I gotta give you. Mm, yeah, extra ammunition. That's probably the best one. I can come and attack Harmosia. Yeah, I gotta fight this battle manually. Okay, one horse. And the rest of them are either infantry or... Well, mostly they are missile units. Three over here, one over there, three over here. Seven missile units and one horse, three mil units. Yeah, that is that is fine. I'm gonna fight the battle manually, but I gotta go. Just wash my face. And yep. Oh lord. Oh my god. Wow. And get back to this. All right, guys. Yes, Pontifex, I'm good, dude. <laughs> I'm alright. I just needed to, you know, wash up my face. And, you know, continue the stream. I mean, there's been a really great amount of interest in this um, campaign. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that this is actually the case. Because there was not that much interest in the Rome campaign. And I, it just made me sad. <laughs> Because it, it was pretty interesting, but this is definitely a lot more interesting, I'll be honest. 
Uh, they're gonna sally out. Good thing they actually sally out and they just don't sit inside, inside the city and just snipe us with the towers, you know? That is definitely good. The enemy draws near. Anyone who's noticed in YouTube ads, you used to hit skip for both and now have to skip both ads individually. For real? Bro, that sucks if that's actually the case. I, I haven't noticed that, but... Again, I don't, I don't think I've seen anything like that, but... If it's actually the case, bro, holy fuck, that is fucking bullshit. Like, <laughs> damn. Maybe it is in America only, because I live in Canada, I, I haven't seen that yet. Or maybe I just haven't noticed it. Because I usually watch YouTube videos in the background. The tide of battle turns in our favor. So sometimes I maybe don't notice it. Yeah, I mean, that, that could be the case. Um, I don't know. Maybe in Canada we don't have that yet. Maybe it's only in America. But yeah, that, that freaking, freaking sucks. Skipping the two individually. That, ugh. Uh, we are out of range of that. Yeah, we're just out of range of that. Just go back to your place, dude. And I don't pay for YouTube. I don't pay for YouTube either, dude. Honestly, that is... And if anyone does that, that's that's fine. But uh, I personally don't do it. I've watched the ads. That's okay. Sometimes I actually find some good ads. You know, some find something actually useful. Yeah, they're getting shot at. Oh, they started shooting. Let's go with precision shots. Oh, we're taking some damage. Yeah, I've lost one unit, three units. Gotta make sure if you're out of range of their towers, that's all. Some has like two minutes long. Yeah, like, oh god. Have you guys seen like the 30 second unskippable ads? That is fucked. That is literally fucked. I love the music, by the way, in Attila. It's so good. Oh, let's kill these guys. These are only 60 entities, so it's not like 120 entities. Or 60. Like... Around 100 entities less compared to the basic units. Get a lot of political ads right now. So when is it? When is the uh, USA's uh, presidential uh, thing voting? I think it should be like September. Is it? Uh, I don't know when it is. To be honest, I don't live in America. I have no idea. It's kind of understandable seeing, you know, a lot of ads kind of related to that stuff. November, okay. Because I've, I've seen, like, political ads for, like, the, um, you know, Canada's government recently. Because there's going to be... Oh. Is that the... No, actually, it didn't have a lord there. I mean, in Canada, we don't have we don't have presidents. We have prime ministers. Uh, so yeah, th th there's gonna be a vote this year as well for us Canadians. Ooh. Okay, the ones that are out of ammo of don't matter. That is army losses, is it? Yes, there we go. Battle ready. Battle ready. 
Uh, lost a couple of soldiers. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, you guys. Oh my god, we killed our own list. Oh my god, that was idiotic. Shit. I've lost 100 units. Yeah, that's alright. They had like 1,000. Oh, that was good. That was pretty good. Let's just sack it. 1,400. 1,400 more. Mm, nope. Oh, we can do some upgrades over here, though. Um, I would rather get this one upgraded. I know this one gives us, like, one more growth compared to that. And also 5% extra income from animal husbandry buildings. Two growth... Board building construction cost deduction by 5% more and two 300 income from industry. Yeah, there we go. That it doesn't even. I don't even need to think about that. It's an easy choice. Oh, by the way, we gotta upgrade these guys. We gotta give them away to this army. And then we can upgrade them. Um, so let's. Mm, no, 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 no. Look at the predicted income. Damn, that looks ridiculous. Oh, yeah, we definitely have to merge some of these guys. Merge the ones that have a lower rank into the ones that have higher rank. Okay, negative 600. I keep these ones at, you know, 135 upkeep. That they were actually pretty decent. For the Thirsty for battle. Yeah, sorry, but not sorry. Get rid of it. Ready for action. Fight with us. Get three of these guys. They're going to be 353 times... Three, that's around 1,059. Just make sure. 1,059. Yes. Hmm. We can work with that. We can definitely work with that. Especially when this is built. That's 400 more income. That is 300 more income. That is, what, 700 more income? Just from that? Yeah, we have enough money and we're going to sack this city soon. Extra five horde growth and also extra missile damage. It's five percent. Oh shit, if we increase the zeal, that is gonna be even more missile damage. What other things can we get? Upkeep reduction for the whole army, enabling night battles. Basically, uh, lightning strike. That is not gonna happen. We don't have any allies. None of these are actually good for us. I mean, this is definitely good. Extra rank for the recruit, recruited units. Oh shit! Income went down to twenty. Is it because of this? Oh, tax rate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, more tax rate. Nice. Yeah, that is definitely gonna help. More upgrade reduction. Zeal. So for this guy, we can get two more zeal. From that, another one from here. That's three more zeal. Yeah, great amount of upkeep reduction and more melee damage for commander's unit. Not for the whole force, but just for the commander's unit. Maybe it's actually for the whole force. Oh, what? Maimed leg? Nah, dude. Camping mode damage minus 15% commander force. What the fuck? Oh, he's an arrogant bastard, is he? Mahalishan. Um. Oh, we can get him to be. Ooh, hello. 
Five extra melee attack for the whole army and personal influence plus two influence per turn. Per influence earning situation. Okay, and horde growth plus four. Nice. All forces. Oh, that's that's even better than I thought. Uh, no more. Yeah, nothing that is gonna affect us. Affect our research rate. Except this one. Right, 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 right. Okay. And there's also uh, Abershark that we can actually sack. This... They're probably gonna run away, aren't they? Yeah, they will. Oh, we'll be honest, we haven't even used our melee cav units. We can just get rid of them. Um, in, in, in the rare case that we actually need to go inside the city, this guy is actually pretty good. He is also alright, excellent against cavalry, but in every any given battle, cavalry is the first force we ha we have to deal with with our archers, and their infantry units we can deal with the archers, you know, deal with them with with the spetsions, archers pretty easily. Um. Yeah, I, should I get rid of them? I mean, at the moment, I have the money, so no, probably. Warriors all. Holy fuck, look at their stats. 55 million attack, 42 Honig Mounted Warman. That is definitely better than the than this guy. More speed, more... Well, the missile damage doesn't really matter, but even these guys have 4 missile damage. Damn. Better charge bonus, less melee defense, but a lot more melee attack. Oh, and they're not good against cavalry. I don't know why this, this guy is actually good against cav. Does he have bonus versus cav or larger entities? Oh, he actually does. Plus 30. Well, this is in the turn. We're going to sack Harmosia and then go to Pura. Oh, stacker. Damn. Again, we don't want to raise any settlements. Just sack them. Let them, you know, get more forces. That's fine. More enemies to kill for us. Fuck, I need an upgrade reduction. Holy hell, look at that. God damn it. What the fuck? Ready for action. Starting out. Warriors all. On the move, lads. Besieging settlement. Ready for battle. Gods be praised. Excitement. Warriors all. Oh, I can't. Oh my god, what the hell? I can't actually go to the other side of the river. That sucks. Uh, yeah, just go get the money or... Every last survivor may satisfy a thirst for blood, but your enemy and their allies will take grave exception. This however, the enemy of your enemy will like you more. Mm, don't fuck, just ransom them. Holy fuck, dude, the in Yeah, the income is looking really bad. Looking really bad. For the tribe! They're actually better than these guys. I mean, they don't have any, you know, missile attacks, but who cares? Okay, some more money. It's good. Oh, uh, yep. No one to be found over here. Probably should have should attack Seraph. 
can even go this way. Um, so yeah, we want to attack Ura. It's really ex oh fuck no one key. I'm gonna I'm good. Yeah, the seizure city. I can just auto resolve it next turn, unless they sally out, which is not gonna happen. Yes. Oh, they could have been in range. Oh no. Extra ammunition. Let's see if they actually get any extra ammunition. Uh, this guy. 26 ammunition. Let's see. Yeah, one extra ammunition, actually. Nice. Fight the battle manually. Oh, fuck. I, I need some forces from that other army. Need some of those. Spet Zions. <sighs> These guys, I'm not going to use them for now, at least. Uh, where can we hide them? Hide them right there, or hide them right over here. Yeah, all three are actually hidden. Well, anyone over here is also going to be hidden because of the train. Obviously, they don't have visibility over these guys. Uh, let's go with the flame shots just so I can you know deal with the horses first and Then the we will deal with the rest of them Dude, What the hell is this? I didn't do whatever the fuck that was. Okay, just don't let these guys get too close because they will definitely use their missile shots. Okay, rapid advance. Oh, I think they also have rapid. Oh yeah, that's that's how they were catching up. Well, they haven't used any of their missile shots yet. It's good. Lost anyone? Uh, it doesn't say. Well, it actually does say 70, 7 to 9. We have lost 17 units. What the hell? Who did we who did kill our forces? Our hidden units have been discovered. No idea. Okay, you guys don't need to be hidden anymore. We killed their horses, except their lord. Okay, that's enough flaming shots. You guys do precision shots as well. Come on. We're gonna kill the Lord for 30 seconds. They're not gonna catch up to us, but after that, they probably will because we are exhausted now. Just keep running. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, I get wrecked. The general has fallen. Dead. Our victory grows in and armor losses. Well, actually, not yet. The but those two got broken ground. straight away. Okay, just go with the heavy shots. It's really important to just switch these when you want to, for example, shoot. You know, it kind of matters. If you're shooting infantry in a missile or melee infantry, you always should uh, uh, change to heavy shots. If you're shooting horses or uh, or, you know, I think we have yeah elephants. You should always shoot the flaming shots. Our general is under attack. A glorious victory. Yeah, there we go, victory. Yours. Okay, so just shoot them down, and we're gonna go after this other guy as well. And lovely stuff. Okay. How the fuck did we lose 83 units? I think we killed we killed our own archers, I believe. That's the only thing that actually makes sense. 
Bloody How in the hell have we lost 83 units? Oh, there we go. Fear. Uh, just take the replenishment. What does that do? No, you don't get to live through this. Lovely. I think it kind of depends. Parthia has been destroyed. Parthia was the one over here, right? Yeah, yeah. These are Eastern Separatists now. Let's go foreign contingent. And unconventional warfare. Okay. Yeah, that ain't looking good. What the hell is... How is that possible? Is it because of the spet science? Yeah, we got too many of those. For sure. <laughs> Damn. Um, do these guys also have bonus versus cav? Plus 30? Yep. Ready for action. Okay, don't get rid of that because that might get attacked. Blood and iron. Get rid of both of them. Again, that is helping, but not that much. Thirsty for battle. Mm. Yeah, I would rather have horse archers. I cannot replace those guys though, but whatever, dude, who cares? Like these guys are better anyways. Uh, I cannot get another one though. But yeah, that is gonna get built next turn. Four hundred is gonna go down to negative two twelve hundred and then three hundred more from this. Negative nine hundred. And whatever money we make from sacking settlements. How can I help? Have they recruit? No, they haven't recruited the unit over here. Rev, it did. Yeah, they did actually repair that though. All right, end of turn. I did know these motherfuckers are gonna attack. Um. Oh, actually, this is easy, dude. This is freaking easy. How? What? <laughs> what is this auto resolve? Damn, bro. This is freaking insane, though. I mean, they got three times the number of soldiers we have, but come on, man. This is this shouldn't be the auto resolve for this one. Only two horse archers. Sorry, two horse uh, cavalry units. The rest of them, half of them are archers, half of them are infantry units. Five archers. Yeah, archers are pretty easy to deal with. Again, the main thing is killing the lord and the other cav unit they have. That's the main thing. And. Oh, the terrain is fucking horrible. Not gonna lie, this terrain is shit. No matter. Gotta do with what we have to do. So is that is that bug new that all units attack the same entity? Uh for missile units? Yes. That is kinda Well, at least for the Sisters of Avalorans. Sorry. What am I saying? For the Hawk Riders, that is actually the case because of the one of the latest updates. The enemy draws near! Go to flaming shots. Yeah, this is actually not great. Going downwards and then shooting up the slope. It would have been good if we were shooting down the slope. I feel like it's been like that since Warhammer Series launch. No, 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 no. That I'm I'm hundred percent sure that has been added with the with a couple patches ago. At least with the Hawk Riders. Hawk Riders uh, special ability, which is uh, volleys of Kernos. 
that was introduced in the latest big patch, which was I forgot the name of it. I don't know whatever it was. 4.2, I think. Okay, we actually have to show these guys' faces. Then. Okay, let's divide them. Some extra speed. Okay, they can see these guys. Hopefully, they're actually gonna go after. Oh! Yeah, let's kill these motherfuckers. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Nine entities got killed. Fuck. That homing shot ability that happened back in like 4.0 with the Vortex buffs and homing. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, the homing rework, not the, not 4.2. I thought we got the, I thought we got the homing rework in 4.2. Yeah, I'm, I was actually wrong. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, the Lord is stuck with us. I think he's over here. That's why he's hidden. We're being ambushed. Be honest, this is fucking perfect. Let's go. You guys stop shooting. Oh, dude, what the hell? Shoot. They are trying to take out our general. Defend him. I don't know who's shooting. Oh, that's a uh, Bowman. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Keep killing these archers. I was referring to the thing with the missile calf, all shooting at the close sentry of a unit. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I'm not exactly sure about that one. That might have been, you know, there ever since the start of Warhammer 3. I, I honestly, I don't even use horse archers that much, so not sure to be honest. So arrows of Kernos, it has always been like that. But the volleys of Kernos is the one that is. Uh, oh no 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 no! Don't shoot at these guys. The volleys of Kernos is the one for the hawk riders. Arrows of Kernos has always been like that. But it, it was the volleys of Kernos that was different. So because arrows of Kernos is on uh, single entity characters, volleys of Kernos is on hawk riders. If you're playing as sisters, though. Yeah, 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 they're taking a lot of damage, especially these guys. They are not that good against uh, in melee combat against anything. The good horse archers, though. Persian Bowman, let's go kick the asses. There we go. Go for that. Stay rough for those guys. I'll say that the homing changes were 95% good. Only a handful of unit abilities were worse. We revealed their deception. Oh, well, yeah. It's debatable. <laughs> Honestly, it's debatable. I, I, oh my god. Oh, they're out of ammo. Yeah, don't worry about these fuckers. Just go for the Lord. Yeah, we gotta go kill the Lord. 
either with those guys or them. They can shoot from the back, just from extra speed. All of our other archers are out of ammo. We also have some um, missile shots on them. Oh, he caught him. Well, that is a sacrifice. Oh, shoot. Come on now, fucking run, dude. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, that dude might die, so I'm just gonna pull him out. The f I thought that was a dragon. I was like, what the hell? When did I run a Warhammer? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that guy's not dead, but might as well be. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Their general is dead. Oh, should I have this ability? Oh no, I forgot about this ability. That is actually pretty good. Maybe we didn't need to disband those guys. I mean, whatever. Got five only units. Oh shit. Oh, oh, good. No, 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 go after these guys. Good boy, come on. Let's try to spread them a little bit. Oh shit. Damn, this guy killed 25 entities. Yeah, their missile shots are absolutely devastating. They don't have damage morale. General is dead, casualty sustained, losing current combat. Okay, that is gonna route soon. Good. Keep in the back, this army is absolutely wrecked. that ability recharge Ugh. that doesn't really matter because the lord is already dead there we go okay this is the other guy we have to attack No, no, don't let them get too close. Charge from up there, from up the slope is gonna fuck them. Just keep them close. We wanna charge these guys. I think if we break them, we should be able to armor loss them. charge good these guys are exhausted now get fucked i think exhaustion also decreases their 
Uh, no, it actually doesn't have an effect. It's kind of weird. Shoot. Okay, they didn't use any more of their missile shots. Okay, catch the attention of this one, hopefully. This guy's exhausted, so it should be easier to kill him, actually. Yeah, just go after these guys. Yeah, they don't get to kill anyone. And they're already broken. Army losses. It's close. Yeah, there we go. Army losses. Let them get broken and then we're gonna charge them. Holy shit, these guys almost died. I don't think they're dead though. Almost died. Fast forward this one. What is the oh? I don't think any of these guys are gonna get there. Try to get them there though. I don't think there's any chance of any one of these guys catching up to them. I mean, they will, it seems, because they're exhausted, they're not. Yeah, they were not exhausted. That's probably why they could actually catch up to them. Nice. You can actually hit their marks from far enough away instead of all missing and fireball got buff to explode if it collides with enough infantry making it okay at throwing into blood. Like, these are some nice, nice um, buffs. But like from up close it's just none of the uh, spells that are like missile damage spells. None of them are good from short range. All of them are good at long range. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but I don't know. Oh, 600 eco. No, I think for punishment. So that, I only uh, remember the unit that has nine entities. Let's see how much more entities he has right now. Authority cunning. Um, it's gonna intervene to not lose a uh, control. Uh, okay, twenty-four. All right, all right. That was that was pretty good. Let's go with the spoiler and max rates plus horde growth. Extra income from sacking. By the way, we can just sack this. Yeah, it should be an easy auto resolve. 3661. There we go. Nice. Quality base. Help Nice. Thirsty for battle. Oh my god, I should have checked before I moved here. The are I mean, if they have an army, where is their armies? What's up with these guys? Where's their freaking armies? I haven't encountered any Sassanid Empire army this recently. Yeah, I can't do that. I need to be able to go to horse stance. Explosion was added a while back. 
I don't think so. It's been all. It's always been there. But maybe if you're talking about the explosion happening when it, you know, hits the infantryness, maybe that was added recently. I'm not exactly sure about that, to be honest. Get moving. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Starting out. Yeah, I cannot afford to not go into in camp sense. If we get them to sally out, I can kill them. But if we fight them inside the city, there is no way. I mean, if you see not inside the city, but if you siege them, I don't think we can actually win. Well, we could win if no one comes and helps them out, but I think someone will come and help them out. There we go. They're actually going to stay and fight. Yeah, we're going to kill this guy as soon as possible. It's a mercenary onager and the lord plus... Three archers, two other horsemen, one Armenian spears. Tukulti Ninurta. What kind of Persian name is that? I never heard anything like that. I bet half of these names are not even Persian. I mean, I don't know about them. Well, it doesn't mean it's not an actual name if I don't know about it. There's a good chance it's not an actual name. <laughs> oh, this terrain is gonna actually come in really handy because we're gonna be hidden until we're really close to the Onager and then probably not gonna get shot. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted! But Mr. Swiss can perform almost the as good as the Spirit Leash most times. Uh, yeah, that like that that's fair. Sometimes, not most times, but sometimes. Spirit Leash. Well, the thing is, Spirit Leash is more expensive, so fair enough. If we count them, uh, spell cost, maybe. Oh, shit. Kill the Lord. Hmm, just keep shooting at it. Oh no, no, keep them in the back, keep them in the back. The owner is not shooting anymore. The enemy general is Damn, fallen. what a small map. What the fuck is this? One of the smallest maps I've ever seen. Uh, oh shit, these are actually burnt. Nice. Burn them. Come on, get him, to close, uh, get him a little bit closer to this guy. Bro, this fucking fear one is fucking bullshit. It. Well, I mean, that's ass. Ability recharge time. Oh, one unit only. It's not even a AUE thing. Oh shit. Yeah, they activated the rapid advance. It did get one unit, but I think we killed more units by shooting our own units. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, just catch the attention of this guy. Oh, that is the that is a lord. Okay, we don't even need to attack these guys. We just gotta go close enough and then disengage, go back. Okay, caught the attention of that guy. 
He's telling me he doesn't have... What is the... I think he has... Missile blocks. Yeah, that is not a big deal. They're probably going to start shooting soon. Okay, you guys go with the precision shots. Shoot them down. I need them to come to the middle of the campaign. The middle of the battle map. So... Actually, what? We have to wipe them out. Because if they... Ah, oh, shit. I think they fled. Yeah, they're... F they're gone. We didn't kill the dude. Whistling shots. Again, go close. Then we're gonna rapid advance and then come back. No, no, whistling shots. Heavy shots. And whistling shots definitely help with the morale. Like the crazy morale is crazy. Yeah, whistling shot is still affecting them. That's good. Hmm. Nah. Whatever, just just keep shooting at these guys. A unit's ammunition is spent and it can no longer fire. And they're probably gonna run away. Ah, uh, there. Oh shit. Ah, uh, that is not good. They're just gonna get off the battlefield as soon as they're broken. Our general is under attack. We outnumber the enemy. Ah, they got Victory. off the battlefield. No, this is your dude. day. I mean, we killed some of them, but that's just not good enough. Okay, finish off these Armenian spearmen. Let's see how they look. Oh, it's better than the the way they looked in Rome. Uh, Rome Total War. That was that was really bad. Well, they were not Armenian uh, spears, though. They were. Parthians? Or a cat? Actually, not Parthians, but a Kamenitz. In, um... Uh... Rome one was... No, no, no. In the, in the expansion one. That was Alexander. Yeah, Persians were in, like, fucking sleeping clothes. It was, like, embarrassing. Two major patches ago. Yeah, that that's I don't know why I thought it was like the last patch. The homing up like update. Um yeah, take the replenishment. We, we need the replenishment that. for sure. That's gonna get built next turn. Yeah, that's cool. Let's just go just keep him in in camp stance. It's still gonna take one turn. That sucks. Let them cower. Unless we recruit a mercenary on edit. Okay, didn't have it. Just siege it, whatever. It's gonna take a turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can finally go this way. I am not stuck there anymore. Go back to in-camp stance. Assassin and Empire negative 528. Damn. Interestingly enough, Lakmits like us now. Damn. I am here then. Because they kind of hate the other ones. They like Assassin and Empire, but they hate the other vassals for some reason. I don't know why. Or they don't like the other vassals as much. Oh, Eastern Christianity, that's why. All of these are Zoroastrian. Bahram, the king. Rank 2. Are you guys close? Oh, shit. They don't have any points. 
<sighs> Damn. Um, camping moon range for the army. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is the one I want. Come sit. Share my fire. Get two more. And then... Actually, you can switch it right now. 10% more camping moon range. Thank you very much. Making more money over here now. We can upgrade one of these next turn, I think. Yep. Actually, we can upgrade one of them next turn. It has to be this one. Because that's going to give us the most amount of money. Oh, food surplus has gone down a little bit. Uh, it's giving us three horde growth instead of four. We can always do this. Yeah, okay, that's gonna increase our income by 1700, a little bit more. Yeah, obviously we cannot settle down. There's like some factions like the, like, Ostrogoths, not Astrogoth, but Ostrogoths, uh, Visgoths, like some factions like this that they can actually, they are horde factions like us, but they can settle down. All of them are in Europe. Antians, that is in Eastern Europe. Maybe it is in like, somewhere in Azerbaijan or like Georgia or Armenia. I'm not, I'm not sure. Ready for battle. None will escape. Please tell me I can actually get up, go to the other side of the river. Ready for action. Oh yeah, I can. Oh my god, thank god. I don't fight this turn. I can just go into in camp sense. I don't care about fighting this turn. If I lose anyone... No, uh, I didn't, surprisingly. What the hell? Damn, 4,000 coins. There we go. Freaking lovely. Gods be praised. Excitement. Oh, we're making more money because they weren't having the rivalry. Okay. Let's get the overlord. He's an arrogant, confident attacker. Raise banner. Okay, that's in the ability. And lively, plus one zeal. Ah, that's good. That's good. Infantry. Yeah, don't need that. Charge bonus. And battle moves me plus 3% for cav units. Pretty good. Ooh, rank four. Are you ready to do your duty? Um, you know for a fact I'm gonna regret, regret this, but whatever. Um, I mean that's 300 more income. It's gonna be negative 100 plus 353. Actually, it's not uh, 353. It's less upkeep okay for these guys. Ready for uh, oh, it's more. 357 times 3 plus 100. That is going to be around negative 1,171 upkeep. Um, yeah, whatever. It's cool. For the tribe. I can marry some of these guys. That's, that's actually good. Yeah, do that. All right, we're not going to be having that much of an income problem because we, we have accumulated enough money, but I need the money to upgrade my cities, obviously. Not cities, but hordes. That's uh, 400 more income. Lovely. Let's sack that one more time. I can't get there straight away. Are you sure that's all? Mm, it's not that valuable, but still, we can make a good amount of money out of it, for sure. 20 morale versus Eastern Empires. We're just going to be sacking them for now. 
Obviously, East Rome is gonna be easier. Well, so far they have been really easy, not gonna lie. I kind of expected a little bit more resistance from them, but they have been no problem whatsoever. I would say they've been too easy to deal with, not gonna lie. Unit experience plus two for cavalry units. Recruitment cost minus 10. Damn. Let's get them at tier 6. Oh, that's going to be so good. And also, recruitment cost reduction by 10%. Yes, please. And metal workers yurt. Uh, we can change that to the ammunition one. And this other guy can get this one. Change with the melee attack one. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. Or we can just change the melee attack, the ammunition one to the melee attack straight away. After we done, we are done upgrading the ammunition for everyone. For oh, by the way, I should give every one of these the upgrade of the speed Ready one. Yeah, next up we have to upgrade this just so we can get a little bit more speed. More speed is gonna be great. Yeah, where are their forces? I mean, there's this one fleet. Dude, what is happening to the Great Sassan and Empire? They're still strength ranking third. That means they have their armies, but they're just somewhere else. Or maybe they're dealing with those guys up there. There is fine meat roasting for you and wine also. But first we talk. First we talk. The ancestor. <sighs> My ancestors and Mag people rights. expect Cart Cartley. Iran. I think these are like these factions over here. Yeah, these guys are never gonna get there. Upkeep reduction is good and all, but this is definitely better. Horde growth plus four and melee attack plus five for the army. But the horde growth is for all armies, not for their army, but all armies. Ready for action. Are you ready to do your duty? Dude, this is probably one of the only horde enjoyable horde. The sagus. Oh, hello. Yes. One of the most enjoyable horde factions. Like Warriors of Chaos back in the day, they were not fun. They were fucking annoying. These guys, though, holy hell. So we're not recruiting those um, spetsions for now. Damn, rank 6, that's going to go crazy. Alright, let's end the turn. And we have like Franks, Saxons, and all of that. Saxons is also another really enjoyable faction. I really enjoyed the Saxons. Um, Like, back in the day, I couldn't play anyone other than Rome. Like, the, the best, like, the most I did was the Hans. That, that was about it. I didn't play like Saxons, Franks, none of them. Like the White Hunts. This is actually the first time I'm playing the one hunt, White Hunts. Tormana. Um. Yeah, I get back on that. Ooh. For the gods. That's not that bad. Let's just sack this one. This oh, it's only damaged. Who damaged it? 27 losses. That's cool. 900 income. That was them. Himyar? Him, him, Himyar, yes. How can I help? Yeah, let them do whatever. I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay, I fucked up. The 
Damn, that was... Why aren't we taking any enemy armies? Enemy army in the region is blocking replenishment? What? How? That's fine. In encampment stance... I get more income, so that's... Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Hinder army. I don't want to fight their army. Especially inside the settlement. I can't fight their army inside the settlement. I'm gonna lose. Thirsty for battle. Quar be praised. How can I help? Gods be praised. Okay, let's get them upgraded. That's gonna be 450. It's pretty cheap. Sit. Share my fire. Uh, let them keep those. Get these back, though. Move out. Yeah, that's actually good. I'm pretty happy about that. I needed to give them some units. Give these guys some units. Yeah. Their actual units were Not fucking possible. wrecked. Ready for action. This major settlement's gonna take a turn. Can't have that. I can win it, but it's probably not worth it. You know what? Let's just siege it. I can keep these two armies separated from now on. Uh, okay. You are the main lord. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Rank 6 and for 450 recruitment cost. It's almost as cheap as their upkeep. I mean, their upkeep is really expensive, but still. 376. Wait, weren't they? 350. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We, we lost this dude and we also upgraded this one. That was like 6% upkeep reduction. Fair enough. Seek a wife. Or, no, no, no. Don't seek a wife. I'm gonna buy you a bright. There is fine meat roasting. They have any? I warn you that I have no stomach Ugh, for the meat. No. Oh, nice. It's off. Welcome, friend. Welcome. I in my. How many settlements do you have? Two settlements. Parthia. Oh, they Be emerged welcome, again. Emissary. Where's the Mac, Mac, whatever the hell their name is? Oh yeah, there we go. We will gladly Magris. listen to your offers. Mm, no, boy, it seems you gotta seek wife. Mm, that's not good. Oh, uh, I think the sweet spot is right over here. Yeah, no tax rate debuff and no hurt growth debuff that is yeah that's pretty good Kill. Warriors all. okay one army is actually not an in-camp stance For the prize. four more turns until we get that and also more ammunition how many do we have no not enough For the dogs. Wait, do I need population surplus? Yes. Oh, oh, look at that food consumption plus 40. Sorry, negative 40. I think I should just put points into the ones that give us extra income. Sorry, not income, but food. Yeah, if we want to upgrade these, how much? 8k? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea getting more. You know, just accumulating money, just hoarding up money. Because, yeah, holy shit. Battle. That is really expensive. 8k for the building? Although, it gives us more money, 300 coins or something. And also, more recruitment, local recruitment capacity. Yeah, it's definitely alright. 
I propose, or rather ask for, a treaty to combine our forces with your considerable strength. Why are they down here? They shouldn't be... Oh, I, actually, there could be, like, I think two different factions in Palestina. There's one in the settlement Alia Capitola Capitolina. I think one is Judeis. I don't know. Just some kind of name like that. It's like Jews and one in Isla, I think. There's like two different ones over here. No, no, no. Uh, maybe maybe I I'm mistaken. You. Maybe there's one in Syria. Oh, fuck. Um... Damn. Um, okay, that's where the armies were. Uh, yo, my God. It is venable. Although extremely unlikely, but venable. If he loses army, that's going to be a really bad thing. Savoron cataphracts, they, they're really great. And what the fuck is that? Is that crossbows? Don't waste any ammunition for any of these motherfuckers, infantry units. Just, just kill the cataphracts and their horse archers. Wow, dude, this is some fucked up shit. I mean, I can always run away, right? After I finish my ammo. And then, if they attack me again, then I can wreck their asses. When I have full ammunition again. Now it is the time that I actually wished I had full stack of archers or not archers but uh spetsion archers they are the real deal where's the reinforcement coming from imagine if it actually comes from here damn that would be really bad ah uh, they're coming the from there okay that's cool all we need to do is just catch their attention Enemy has been sighted. Advance. Advance at speed. Warrior. Our advantage has been lost. I know one one v one. We could have easily won this. Two v one though. That's a different story. Just catch your attention, and then we're just gonna run back. Bear in mind, they do have the rapid advance as well. It's just not, it's not only us to have it. They also have it. Okay, stop shooting, stop shooting. Did we get any kills? Eight kills with almost one volley. That is really shit. I'm not gonna use a precision shot because they're gonna come. Oh my lord, look how many they have, dude. Look how many fucking horses they have. They almost have as much as I do. Oh, they're coming. Horse archers are coming, that's good. Some of the other horses are also coming, that's great. Keep them coming. Kill the rasses. And everyone has to be in flaming shots. If I can kill their calf forces, the rest of them, I'm gonna win the battle with fuck ton of cheese. And running around, just dividing the forces into smaller forces, and then I'm gonna like overwhelm them and shit. But I have to take like almost zero casualties from these guys if we wanna win. Good, that is deleted. Stop stop shooting. Oh, that that got wasted big times.
Mm, yeah, that is deleted. Good. Get one unit. Some shit I want to see. Oh, boy. Uh, actually, you're not as fast as these guys, are you? You're as fast. Gonna be out of the range of their archers. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Go back, go back. Didn't lose anyone. You got more armor than the basic archers I have. They're not gonna die as easily. Look how wide they are. Holy fuck. Uh, we do have some flanking room. It's a lot of horses. I don't like that. Okay, that's gonna decrease their speed, I think, by like 20. Yep. Oh, these are idiots. Missile block chance minus 100%. Fucking dumbasses. Yeah, we can't really focus fire on any person at the same time. It's kind of unfortunate. Again, I only need to kill the cav units. The rest of them should be easier to deal with. Oh, we might. Oh, they might catch some of our forces. They're killing some entities, but that's fine. Just go back, boys. Um, yeah, I've got some units. That is all right. Actually, go back to the precision shot. Oh, no, 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 guys. Fuck. King hell. Come on. so many entities okay do you just just come in a little bit closer catch the attention of some of them so we don't have to deal with all of them at once the problem is he's also taking damage he might die if he dies it's not the end of the world so Stop shooting, stop shooting. Don't waste your ammo on that one guy. I need to kill the, kill the horses. The rest of the units, I don't really care. But horses, that's the one unit I need to kill. Okay, yeah, that, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. Nine entities. He's shattered. Yeah, get out of here. Persian nobles. Uh, they got bonus versus. Okay, that is plus three morale. Let's 
Oh my god, if we kill the Lord, that is gonna be absolutely huge. But if we lose our Lord, on the other hand, and we're not gonna lose our Lord. Okay, we need to go this way. Their Lord is almost dead. He has killed exactly zero killed. units. General is being attacked. Keep him alive. Okay, their general is dead. Okay, just use heavy shots. There we go, their lord is dead. There we go, that, that's one of their lords. They have another one. Yeah, all of these are fucking cataphracts. That's a lord. Maybe the lord is actually dead. Maybe that's the one. Nope. I don't know where it is. Uh, these guys are exhausted. Okay, yep. We're gonna give them some time to rest a little bit. I just wish there was like a freaking glitch we could use to actually, you know, he uh, replenish some ammunition for our forces. But unfortunately, there's no glitch in this game whatsoever to do such a thing like Warhammer 3. That's gonna be in range trying to shoot us, but mm, I don't care. I think it's actually a good unit to go and kill. Or are they coming? They are coming to us. Okay, good. Keep them at the back. These guys can have a little bit of a rest. They're exhausted. That's good. Again, if we can like sandwich them in between us. Also work pretty nicely. Save down for the horses. This one is super isolated. Let's go a little bit closer to them. Okay, their horses are not exhausted though. Their infantry units are, but the horses aren't. Four come this way. Why are they? What the fuck is that formation? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, recharge that. All right. Take this. We shouldn't let them charges because if they do that's that's gonna be ggs oh come on yes yeah we didn't let them charge us Cataphracts are good, but are they good enough to... Okay, th that's, that's alright, that's alright. They're routing. Just run away now. Ooh, we lost some units. We lost some... Ooh, that was some heavy, heavy numbers going down. That's good. Just, just run away, boys. Just run away. We don't need to... We don't actually need to fight them. And they're not tired, that's the problem. <laughs> Fuck. No, 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 no. Flame shots. Okay, 
Yeah, that was a lot of uh, kills they did. Unfortunately, 25 kills. Considering we didn't, ha we don't have that much units. 25 kills is actually a lot of losses. There we go. There we go. Enough. Enough shooting. Enough shooting. Enough shooting. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Speed, come on. Are you guys shooting? Oh no, they're not shooting. That's oh, that's so bad, man. I forgot to put it back on. Uh, they're not broken. They're gonna be. There we go. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. That one is a free kill. Uh, there is still more horses, but I dealt with most of the horses so far. Okay, that was a pretty easy kill. There we go, nice. Keep them away from the battle unless we really have to bring them in. Our precision shot is gonna run out. And they're gonna be exhausted. <sighs> okay, this is going very nicely. Look at the balance power. It is turning to our favor. We have killed 1500 of them, we have lost 280 units. We didn't even need to lose like 60 of them. There we go. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. One, two. Uh, there might be another horse unit or two. Actually, we can go and kill these guys. They don't have any idea. Do have two missile units over here? Two able to kill this guy though. Look at that. The morale is barely holding up. 21. Obviously, the cataphracts have a lot more morale than the other ones because the base morale is a lot more higher. That guy is also not doing good. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Some heavy shots. Yeah, why not? Okay, stop shooting. They are gone. They're gonna get shattered though. Yep, they're shattered. Okay, their forces are actually divided in two different sections. Okay, this is actually going perfectly. Okay, their morale is going down. Maybe one whistling shot is gonna finish it up. Or not. Or we don't even need to do that. Okay. No, don't shoot! Fucking dumbass! Okay, one unit. Go missing shot. 
I mean, whistling shot. One whistling shot is gonna do a lot of. May break a couple of these guys, maybe. Okay. Divide them into groups of four. No one is shooting at the moment, eh? Yep. Visiting shots, come on. Do one visiting shot over there. Break that guy. That guy's almost broken. It's just gonna get broken. He's not gonna run away. He's gonna run away, but he's not gonna get shattered, what I'm saying. There we go, that's shattered. You should, you should try to divide these guys. Okay, there we go, that's actually a... Uh, mm, no, that's, that's... They're baiting us. Baiting us into going... Charging them. Oh, they flaming shot us. Okay. okay. Anyone that is low in morale, I should use the whistling shots. To break him. Okay, just run around them in circles. Oh, they're getting some kills. Yeah, Bantus Power is looking a lot more better because we killed all of their horses. Okay, we're dividing them pretty nicely. Again, one be like one by one, we gotta pick them apart. There we go. One unit ready to get freaking killed. Another one. Look at this. These idiots are basically gifting these to us. Go and kill. Okay, just do a fake charge. We don't want to actually, don't actually want to charge them. Bring them back, bring them back, they're broken. Yeah, they're shattered. Good. We don't need to kill them, we just need to shatter them. That's all. Uh, missing shots. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. Again, just have to look for openings, look for the ones that are vulnerable, and just shoot them. Okay, another unit is broken. Look at this. They're giving us more units to kill. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the hell? Can't go for that. Okay, another unit we can kill.
Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. I have one whistling shot is gonna finish that off. Not anymore. Oh, I should put one unit over there. Again, they're dividing their forces up pretty nicely. Oh, no, 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 my lord. Oh my god, I should keep my lord safe. He's the most important unit in this battle. Everyone else can die, I don't care. But the lord should stay alive as long as we can. They're probably gonna... Yeah, they probably want to bait the One Lord to come in. No longer fire. Yeah, that's fine. Keep them close, but not too close. That's the trick. You should keep them... You should keep the 4-6 close so they don't actually, you know, go away. Again, don't keep them too close. Or else they're gonna get attacked. And you absolutely don't want that. Okay, we caught the attention of these guys, and you guys just finish them off. These are fake charges. Okay, good. Yeah, these are spearmen. They're not that fast. Oh, there we go. Another horse archer. You can go and kill. Without being scared for our lives. It's kind of isolated in the middle there. We'll also go after that. There we go, all of the archers are dead. Okay, we should be careful about this area. Oh, shit. Oh, that was, oh. Oh, I thought that was their archer. I was like, where the heck did they come from? Yeah, Whistling Shot is gonna do the job on some of these guys. We don't need to really engage with them. Maybe do one, like, Whistling Shot and then go in. Especially on this guy. Oh, no, 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 come on. I gotta be really careful with these guys. Okay, come on. Two morale. Okay, if we get close to it, it's gonna die probably. Yeah, that is broken. Guys, don't shoot though, just... Okay, try to isolate them as much as we can and then we break him. Okay, some heavy shots. That's cool. Okay, that's that's broken. Good. Uh, let's go switch to heavy shots. Twenty-four. Oh, he's also getting. Oh no, he's also getting debuffed by that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. 
51 morale. Damn. going that badly yeah don't worry about that okay one whistling shot no 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 one whistling shot is gonna do the job you, you don't shoot though you guys don't shoot either there we go yeah, stop shooting finish that off Oh shit, 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 shit. That is broken. Good. Let's just reorganize. Oh no, 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 no. You're losing too many units. Get out of the freaking mess. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Oh, you're out of ammo. Wonderful. As I said, it's... Oh, shit. Yeah, we just charged into them like fucking idiots. Like, killed so many. Maybe you killed the other ones. What was it, the other ones? I'm, I'm not sure who it was. Yeah, that guy's dead. Ah, fuck. All of them are... Not all of them, but... This, this guy is out of ammo. Yeah, there's two isolated ones. Let's finish them off. Charge and the there we go. Their attack from no the back. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Extra morale for this area. Good. Break off, break off, break off. Okay, let's kill some of these guys that are running away. So we don't have to face them later on. Ah, that's that's gone. Yeah, they're still not trying to blow up around each other. That's good. It's lovely stuff. I love marker management. I have to play Britonia soon. <laughs> Sucker for marker management. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> yeah, they got kind of confused and they're broken. Okay, they're blobbing around over here. But we might army lost them. Before they even get to do... Minion Spears. Uh, bring them close. Come on, some vesting shots. Should do the job. Yeah, not doing good. Great.
No big oh, fuck! I mean, the, you know, good. they got some kills. Oh, they're broken at least. And arm losses, there we go. Oof. Damn, bro, this was a tough battle that we actually managed to win. Lovely. Yeah, they're broken. <laughs> this is some legend of total war type of battle you know what i mean like you we had to play it perfectly i'll be honest this was one of the most impressive battles i've done in a while this challenge seems stressful how would you build these armies if you weren't only using calf I wouldn't build them any other way. I'm gonna be honest with you, I wouldn't build them any other way. Because th these are the Huns. Um, you know, maybe if it was like Romans, that would be different. Maybe if, it, if it's Saxons, obviously different because Saxons have really strong infantry units as well. But why should I recruit any other unit other than uh, horse archers? They're just too good. I mean, we didn't even have any of build. We had one uh, Spet Zion infantry archers. Even these honey horse archers did really decent. Um, the only thing is, I should have been a little bit more careful and not get caught by two armies. That was the only thing I had to do a little bit better. I don't know how long it took me to do this battle, but not gonna lie it was it was one of the most impressive ones for myself especially close victory wow come on how do i take a screenshot yep there we go mm, okay yeah the infantry melee infantry ones didn't do that much but Fuck me, look at the archers. How many? 350 kills. Like, you would see this kind of shit in Legend of PZA. <laughs> uh, you would see this kind of shit in, like, Warhammer with, like, single entity units or, like, magic. These guys don't even have magic. They have, they have fucking bows and arrows. That's it. <laughs> They're on the horse. 269, nice. Damn, this guy. 461 kills as one unit. I'm just going to take the replenishment. 14% replenishment. Almost all of them are dead. Take on the warriors. Let's see if their faction strength actually went down. Because that was two of their armies. Assuming it didn't miss a frame. Stream says about 37 minutes. Ooh. That was long. That was definitely long. Oh, what are you going to do? Oh, he didn't. Oh, he's going to do, do some shit on our spy. No, 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 no. Oh, he was unsuccessful. Loved it, dude. Honestly, love this battle. I love freaking Attila. It's just so underrated. People just don't know about this game. I, I did a hand run on the stream and also Western Roman Empire. A couple months of critical success. How can I help? Oh, he injured them, is did he? Misdirect army. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just political favors. Ah, oh, this guy got rejected. You useless piece of shit. I mean, you're still you're still respectable. Let's just quick save this, by the way. Oh, la, la, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't know what I just said, but just save this. All right, so we didn't gain a lot. What? Oh, by the way, let's check the army. Most of them recovered. Nice. Is it true what Legend said about this game uh, that there were some upgrades that are just secret downgrades? What specifically 
was he talking about? At the top of my head, I don't actually remember. I don't exactly know what he was referring to. To battle! Oh, uh, yeah. F that guy fucked off. I want to get attacked again. <laughs> no, but the main thing is I just want this to get built. Um, so I make 400 more income from it. How can I help? Manipulated 80% chance of success. It was a year or two when he talked about it, something in cities, maybe gold mines. I've never played myself. Maybe, maybe it was with the sanitation. Um, not exactly sure what he was referring to. Uh, assassinate plus twenty percent chance of assassinating targets. Let's go with that. Um, yeah, corruption is kind of like if you have a big empire like the West Roman Empire, like corruption is going to be at like fifty-five percent because with every settlement you have, your corruption is going to go higher. So as West Roman Empire, it doesn't even make any sense to you know hold all of the empire. You can, um, there is a technique that Legend of the War had. Um, um introduced to internet a couple years ago like five years ago that you don't actually control or oh, unit upgrades not gonna lie some of the units the upgraded versions are worse in terms of convenience why for example the saxons have a have a unit that uh, have a cav unit that is really strong and it does let's say it's a, it's an eight out of ten unit not considering the no no it's in seven out of ten unit 6.5 out of 10 unit okay this saxon uh cavalry but when you upgrade it the upkeep of it is going to get 2.5 times more expensive so from 100 upkeep it's going to go to 250 upkeep but the unit from 6.5 is only going to go up to seven it's not going to be that much of an upgrade but you're paying two point times like if you were paying like 100 upkeep you would be paying for the upgraded version we'd paying 250 upkeep but the unit hasn't actually gotten that much better it's yeah some of like there's like some cases of um these kind of upgrades that was just a saxon example but um yeah sanitation i i, I really like the, san the way sanitation works especially with the saxons rome is okay like in many ways saxons are better than romans like in terms of their cities because they can make like um have like food buildings in the major settlements but the romans cannot do shit like that but they have they can have markets that give you food but they have some downgrades the, For the gods. yeah more than the usual downgrades of public order and scholar but um we're definitely gonna get to play some romas maybe not not rome but saxons i've played rome and are you going to cheese this and just spam spets on archers? Not really. I mean, I... Maybe. <laughs> In one of my armies, yes. In this yeah, army, probably. Nice. Look at this, dude. We are recruiting level 6 spets on uh, archers. <laughs> and, yeah, that's that's cool. Although, I can't really afford them right now. Attack! No problem, 6. And... Um, I really love Attila, but it still needs to understand the campaign max. Definitely, campaign campaign mechanics are a lot more different than, for example, again, Saxons. Because I watched, I uh, actually did some uh, playthroughs with them, and uh, for example, you, you have to sit around for most of the campaign, do nothing, just sit around in your cities, and just um, gonna increase the public order, and also increase the growth of your cities yeah it's not as aggressive like the game is not aggr as aggressive as warhammer 3 you just have to sit around sometimes and do nothing but for example as the hans white hans or the actual hans you don't get to do that you you can just keep being aggressive and you know that's definitely fun for the people that actually like that kind of gameplay yes what oh there we go there's a full stack right over here I am gonna 
not gonna go and attack it. I'm just gonna get over here. What the hell? Come sit, share my fire. Space Knight archers are just the most broken unit in Total War history. Love it. On oh God, they are, bro. Like, it's fucking nuts how strong these guys are. Not even their, like... Ignore their, um... Arch... Like, their, uh... Fucking... Arrows. Their melee stats are freaking crazy. For, like, an archer... Like, a... Uh... It's, a, it's not even, like, heavy bow cap. It's light bow. It's fast... It's tough, it's strong in melee combat, and it has fuck ton of ammunition, which are really strong. It can cut through anything, and it's definitely one of the most broken units in the history of Total War. That is, that is facts. Okay, I want to get attacked. No, actually, I don't want to get attacked. I cannot attack them, so that means they cannot attack these guys. Um... I can't see their movement range. Wait, is this impassable terrain? Seems it is. I'm gonna blockade the trait. Am I blockading it? If you go into in camp stance, maybe. Are you ready to do your duty? Yeah, I get three more. Who wouldn't get them at the moment? Not that I would. And... Um... Hold on. If we upgrade this to any of these... No, 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 no. We, we're not going to touch that. Let's upgrade that. 150 extra money plus 60. 210. Alright, guys. I definitely need to go to the bathroom. I'm, I'm about to die. I'm going to be back in like a minute. You guys also get some water, get some food. You know, take it easy, relax. And um, yeah, I'm going to be back in like a minute or two. Or you just get food while you're playing. That's that's great, dude. Honestly, I need to get some food <laughs> as well soon. Um, guys, honestly, the support today has been really great. And uh, I'm probably going to give away five gifted memberships tomorrow for the channel on YouTube. Well, I don't even stream on Twitch. But the way I said it, it, it sounded like I do. But... Yeah, I'm going to give away five gifted memberships for a month uh, on YouTube tomorrow. So if you want to have a chance of getting one, uh, you know, be sure to check tomorrow's stream out. 
Um, anyways, let's just go down over here. Uh, check this on guard. Negative 10% enemy agent success chance because, you know, they did some actions on him. Same thing with this guy. Oh, he was deceived. Negative 10% enemy action. Six. Oh, he cannot move though. Compromised. Falling a fail attempt against an enemy. Okay. Yeah. Public order. Encourage descent action. Well, that doesn't do anything for me. Well, doesn't do anything on me. Uh, same thing with this one. Encourage descent. I am the night in the dark. Nah, I'm not gonna merge these guys. Stack. Um. Him yar. Greetings, I can befriend them, but do I want to do that? With anticipation of your noble and worthy it is an Eastern Kingdom, is it? I, we can't even have trade, so doesn't matter. Uh, can we build anything? Well, we're building thing there and here. Three more turns until we can get the metal worker yurt and also the carpenter's yurt. I think I'm going to get the one that increases uh, ammunition. That's the one that makes sense. Makes the most sense. And we're going to get that upgraded. All of them are in in-camp stance. Okay. And we're recruiting two more of the... Well, three more of these sept... Spet... Zion archers. Assassinates hate us. Oh my god, my ancestors would be ashamed of my actions today. <laughs> 26. Yeah, he's too young. If he fails again, I'm gonna lose my shit. Request the privilege of accompanying another more experienced character so that you may gain experience from their exploits. Yeah, you follow me, my son. Why you hate your own people? That sucks. I I gotta I gotta make it up to them. Twenty six is too young. Thirty is too old. <laughs> I mean, he's too young to get this. Oh, hold on. Damn that. This one is kind of worse than this one. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Just keep keep on that one. Um this guy's 47. He's becoming a little bit old. Um Okay, so missile damage plus five percent. Anything better than that? Nope. V is better than them. Morale plus 15 versus Eastern Kingdoms. And camp him on range. Oh, we didn't even have that. It was this guy, eh? Yep. Cunning. More upkeep reduction. I mean, next time he levels up, we're gonna get the Scourge, which is definitely better than that. And enemy local... Ooh, enemy morale in the local region. Minus 4 at the second level. So... After we get these two, I'm going to put one more point into this and then one more point into that. Extra melee attack and campaign movement range. 30. Uh, definitely cunning. This is better. Fatigue rate minus 20% instead of 10. Yet. 
All right, so let's just end it. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, you, we wanted to upgrade this for you. Yeah, don't upgrade that. Even though this gives us more money, but this is going to be more useful because of the extra speed. And some money. 56 plus 94. 150 extra money plus you know the extra food which is not that much 14 extra food wait are we close to going negative here no we're upgrading that as well although that doesn't give us that much money sorry that much food it gives us a lot more money than food 150 plus 60 210 It's mainly just because of the food, because, you know, whenever we get to upgrade this, 9,000 coins, holy shit. Alright, let's end the turn. should keep an eye out on these guys, because there was two armies up there. I don't want to get caught like that again. Especially with these two armies, because they are not full stacks yet. This was a full stack. This could deal with that, but... They probably can't. They were like two full stacks. Ooh. It's hot. It's two. 1,000 coins. Yeah, I go up north. I don't have any settlements. Piss off up there. Return to your people and prepare them for death. Oh, that wow. Shiver my timbers. <laughs> oh, Attila the Han is born. Yeah, I'm going to shut up so we watch the cinematic together. They made ready for war. The world had fallen into shadow. The earth grew cold and the wind whispered of death. And I beheld a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of scales in his hand. Attila was born. All knelt before him. For they knew he would devour the earth and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Attila was born from darkness and despair. Right, Attila has been born, what is the turn? Okay, I think we got 1k. Yeah, chapter 1 complete. Um, now we're gonna survive until 420. Is it turn 40 now? Oh, motherfucker. He's been rejected two times? Holy shit. Oh my god, your ass. What is your trait? Procrastinator. Oh yeah, fuck off, man. You're, you're a useless piece of shit. Oh my god, he decreased my control by like six. Oh, you're so ass. Oh, he's so butt cheeks. Uh, let me secure some loyalty. Oh shit, we can't do that on him. I'm not going to adopt this guy because, yeah, that's not going to be good. Let me gather some support. This piece of shit decreased my control by uh, 6%. Uh, so do we... No, no, no. So the thing is, uh, this is not the faction of Attila. Attila is for the Hans, not the White Hans. So he he's actually born in the Hans. How many turns does it take to, for him to actually get to 16? 8 turns times 16, 128 turns from now. 
until you can actually get to use him. But he's like fucking crazy good. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've never used him. I've used him before. I don't remember because it was a really long time ago. And yeah, but he's supposed to be this crazy good commander. In game, again, I I personally haven't used him in a really long time, so I don't even remember how good it was. Oh, I can reinforce. Oh, there we go. Ready for more orders. Oh shit! What the hell? I've got two of these. Why? Thirty-five. How much food? Twenty-nine. Um. Yeah, upgrade this one. Three extra growth. How much growth are we getting? Forty. Sorry, thirty-eight. Yeah. Uh, we can get uh, three more and also ten more food. Okay, we definitely gonna change this to that. I don't know why we have two of these cattle herders. Because the only good thing about them is the they don't give us that much food. They don't give us that much money. The only thing is, it's gonna give us horse breeding. Uh, that we get more speed from. That's that's about it. So we we gotta change this to a shepherd's camp, <clears throat> which gives more money and also more food. Ron Carcia. Laying siege to their hovels. How much sack money can I get? I mean, it's not that much. It's not that bad either. How can I help? Lord be praised. Oh, we're gonna lose even more money. Quar be praised. How can I help? On the move, lads. Your next command. Oh, we have enough money to not really worry. Oh, this guy is not in income stance. That, oh, shit. That is why. Okay, got up. Merge one of these. The other ones. So, all of them are at almost full health points. <laughs> and we save a little bit of money. That's... Win win. Oh. Manipulate the agent. Deceive it. No, 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 no. We don't need to deceive it. We need to kill it. We haven't unlocked that yet. Hinder the army's movements. 25%. It might actually fail. It was a success. All right. There we go. Infiltrate. No. Misdirect army. That is a good one. Deceive. 20% extra chance and also authority plus one. Holy shit. Damn, he's really bad. Hero salute. Unfortunate. Parented. Why? And stupid. Um, <laughs> this, that is ass. That's a shit. Yeah, both of you going to in camp sense. I can't give these guys back to you for now. Wait, where is the building to recruit agents? There we go. Bow hunter, spy master. Okay, this guy's so ass. Gotta get rid of him. He had all of the shitty trees. Like, that's crazy. How is it possible? Every single shit trait. It's like, come on, man. For the gods. Okay, this is really valuable. Look how much money is making. Oh, that's gold mine. Oh. Go have it praised. How can I? Assassinate him. There we go. Critical success. Fuck off. For the gods. Okay, we're gonna sack this. Go down over here, sack that, and then go over here. These are minor settlements. Nice. So, do we 
gotta fight it a little later or RV his shield later if you don't get to use him at any point. Basically, for us, it doesn't really matter because um, we haven't even discovered them. They, they actually start somewhere around here, somewhere around this area. Actually, somewhere around this area. They got like three horde um, armies like us. And they usually move to um, like Macedonia, Bulgaria, and you know, the mid part of Europe. Italy, Western Rome, usually. Uh, go to the Germanic tribes, kill them. They... Well, the, the, their main path is usually like this. They, you know, kill these guys over here and then come to Dacia, kill them, then come to either down over here, kill the East Rome, West Rome, any other fucker down over there, and the Germanic tribes, and then the West Rome. It's, West Rome is usually the easiest one to kill, even for AI, because West Rome is too divided. It's, well, it's too big. And they have so many enemies. Like, there's so many Germanic tribes that they are going to fight. There is the uh, factions in the desert. There is, like, so many horde factions over here. Germanic tribes. Celtics. Um, like, the Vikings. Scandinavians. And also all of these Hunnic factions. Because there's, like, four Hunnic factions. Well, actually, more than four Hunnic factions. Because there's these three, Budanians, or Budinians, Sabarus, Megiors, the White Hans, us, and the Hans, which is the faction of Attila. Um, yeah, Vestrom is fucked. Alright, let's end the turn. But I don't think we're gonna get to interact with him that much because our goal and objective is the eastern factions like you know persia sassanid empire and their vassals this is our main goal one of our faction bonuses is morale versus eastern kingdoms which are you know the persians and their vassals is morale plus 20 it's something insane which only gets applied when you go into the battle with them. So as long as you go into the battle, you're going to have plus 20 morale. And there's also banners. Well, household characters that you can equip that is going to like increase your morale versus these Eastern factions with like 15 or something. So if we did meet him, would he be friends since he's the same culture or would he pick a fight i think he's like he's gonna be friendly because uh the other three honic factions they all like us because there's like yeah five cultural affinity at least with this guy i'm oh, not him sorry th th yeah this guy five cultural affinity and the rest religious affinity 10 and then the rest of it is because of military actions against their enemies and also being at war with them. Also, we uh, did a diplomatic marriage with them. So that is also giving us, what, plus 12 relationship? I mean, cultural affinity 5, religious affinity 10. But because we're a great power and we're going to get greater a greater power, which is going to be a more of a debuff by the time we will meet him but if you're at war with his enemies he's gonna like us we can just i don't know get a defensive alliance or non aggression back. For you. And why not? i'm actually not gonna get any defensive alliance with these guys because they might declare what people in europe and then they're gonna send forces to kill me uh, yeah! not a fun thing to have to deal with sack it three thousand coins lovely Yeah, we're not gonna get there right away. We take this settlement for the Might lose this guy. I don't really care if we lose him. We didn't. All right. Seven twenty. Okay. Get moving. Going to encamp stance. 
Uh, there's these guys I can recruit. Excellent against Cav. We got something better. Extra ammunition. Morale plus three versus Eastern Kingdoms. What is that? Integrity plus two. Nope. Two more levels. One, two, and then the next time we level, you know, two times from now if we level up. Extra rate morale when attacking, 2% replenishment rate, and missile attack rate plus 20%. <laughs> Enemy morale minus two local region. That is not that big of a deal. This is a lot more better. Okay, you. Oh, finally. Authority plus one, cunning plus one, zeal plus one, enemy morale minus two local region, and army recruitment capacity plus one for the command horde. So, zeal plus one, that's one extra integrity for the army. 3% extra muscle damage and mill damage for commander's unit. 2% more upgrade production. 3 more mill defense for the commander's unit. I'm ex again, I'm not exactly sure if it's for the commander's unit or like the commanded force. Doesn't specify that. Mill attack 55, mill defense 42. Yeah, it only applied to this guy. That's that's fine. And also plus f plus two morale for the commander's unit. Damn, this guy got named like that. Kind of sucks to the walls. Remarkable skills when assaulting walls make this man an expert. Okay, plus ten morale when laying the siege. Destroyer sacking income plus six percent. Yeah, basically the traits are. Kind of similar to the way Warhammer 3 is. So if you see some settlements, you know, enough settlements, you're going to get, for example, to the walls, which is a buff for when you're sieging. If you sack, raise, or loot, just enough, you're going to get Destroyer. I don't know why we have got a main leg. Maybe he got damaged in the battlefield. That's why he has gotten that. Not exactly sure. I think it is the case, actually. Is it probably? Probably it is. For the tribe. Ready for action. War be praised. How can I help? Ready for action. Sword of my people. No, no, no. Hold on. What the hell am I doing? Get these guys that are damaged. Give them the ones that are not that damaged. Actually, keep these high level ones. Give the lower level ones to God my faction leader. Excitement Ooh. For the gods. Damn, bro. Yeah, this is going to give us a lot of money from sacking that. On our way. And we're also doing this one. Cool. Ready for battle. Besieging settlement. Wait, could we see? No, we couldn't do anything to the settlement. Manipulate agent. I can Damn, he got. Fuck. <laughs> he died. I mean, he's he's gonna come back, but. Damn. Two thousand. Ooh. For the gods. For the gods. Ready for battle. I need more money. Fuck. Um, units experience gain for mill units. Nah, I don't really care about that. But this one though is pretty good. Replenishment plus two percent and missile unit experience plus one. Upkeep cost minus five percent for all units. Oh crap! That is also pretty good. Um, that I could use more than the other ones. Just because I'm paying 13,500. 5% upkeep deduction on that is 671. Less upkeep. That's good. Ooh, I mean, it was 10%. Oh, fuck. We gotta do all of those to get to that. Missile attack rate plus 10% of missile units and deep horse archers. What is that? 
Oh, I think it's the basic one. No, it's these guys. These are Haunted Horse Archers. Not exactly sure. This is really giving me people for of Chaos Wipes. No money and running around, sacking everything. But this is just better than that. Because, you know, there's actually a complex, um, like, building system. It's a lot more complex than Warriors of Chaos. Warriors of Chaos was fucking bullshit. It was really simple and just boring. Yeah, let's go with this, by the way. Wait, did I upgrade these guys? I think... Yeah, I did all of them. The gods. Well, I'm... You know... I have more units than I actually need. That's why I'm kind of broke, but... I have to get rid of some of them. Warriors all. Yeah! Ready for action. I mean, these are cheap. I, I should keep them. What about? At them. Yeah, actually, one of them is for this guy. Ah. Oh shit! Three melee cav units. The rest of them are just step. Spets on archers. I mean, they're better than the melee cav units we had. How can I help? Yeah, let's get rid of this one. And that one is cheap, so let's keep it. I know friendly Skaven to hold all of our ruins for us. Yeah, well. <laughs> we, uh, the thing is, I don't even have to raise any settlements. Because I make more money out of sacking, looting, and raiding. Although we can't really loot because we can cannot occupy. Obviously, looting means occupying. I don't know. This, this has to be a... Mistake, cause they, yeah, they cannot loot. I don't know how Warriors of Chaos were even before Warhammer Two, when you had any factions you like that could hold territory. What do you mean could hold? Ter do you mean like colonize the ruins for you? That's what you mean. Okay, let me actually see Scout. There was an R O. Is there nothing else? This is a fucking crossbow. Oh, no! I think I thought that was the missile damage. Oh shit! Sixty-five. That is definitely crossbow. I mean, it seems like crossbow. What is the ammunition? Twenty-four. That is not high. This is high. Twenty-seven. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that Warriors of Chaos are not Horde Faction anymore. Because, you know, Horde Faction in Warhammer 3, it... Like, Nakai is a good Horde Faction. I mean, he's better than what he was before. Because at least he can have... You know... I mean, his vast... His vassal is shit. I don't know. I kind of like the Horde Factions, like the Beastmen. They, they're... They're a proper Horde Faction. Again, without their hair stones, they would be terrible. But with the hair stones, well, the fact that you know you they cannot, any anyone else cannot actually come and just uh, ruin dweller, ruin dwell the settlements. That's just amazing. Norskins before Warhammer Three could only hold ports, so everyone just ran around colonizing all the stuff you blew up. Threw up was a lifeline and held all the land for you. Oh my God, dude, that was. That was a pretty terrible time. Now Norsko is, is really a lot more stronger. They're not one of the strongest factions, but you know, definitely with the ports, any port at level three giving like 800 coins. And then you can boost that up even further with the um, gifts to the Chaos Gods. That, you know, makes them a, one of the strongest Let's factions in my opinion. Two turns for both of these. Okay, we're yeah, definitely gonna make a lot of money out of Sapahan, Souza, and Mishan. Uh, 
Man, this guy sucks. Like, many of the things in Warhammer 3 actually got better with... Warhammer 3, but some of the things obviously did get worse. Like, Norsko definitely got better with Warhammer 3. Um, Warriors of Chaos definitely got better with Warhammer 3. Mm, who else? Who else actually got better? I mean, green skins were always good. Wood Elves? Mm, actually, Wood Elves got better with the Sisters of Twilight DLC. With the free update that came with it. They became a lot more better. You settle on with no one. Oh! Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Huh? War be praised. How can I help? Um. Let's end the turn. But the thing is, there's not as many settlements in this game as in, as in Warhammer, Warhammer 2. But with Warriors of Chaos, you could actually run around and make money out of enemy armies. In this, you can't actually make money out of enemy armies. You just can make money out of second settlements, that's all. I mean, the horde buildings you have also make, make you a lot of money. But usually, if you want to have like sufficient forces, you're going to be negative in terms of money. Especially if you're fighting like big empires like Sassanid Empire or like Eastern Roman Empire and stuff like that. Ooh. Damn, six hours? I bring word that my lord looks to end. Oh the yes. He will not look to end it. I mean, day. yeah, just you give me twelve hundred coins. Oh no! Fuck! The game got. No no no! Don't open up. Warhammer 3. Um, the game crashed. Clouder, what? Yeah, let me reload Attila. I don't know what happened. Game crashed. Ooh. <sighs> Let me see if I can actually get the piece right now. Before you say anything, know that I have an amulet against the evil eye. Dark source thieves. Am I always to be disturbed by foreigners? Oh my gosh, shut if the hell up. If it is alms you want, talk it... to my major domo. It is triggering me. That is my fucking Persian accent. <laughs> Do not wander in like... Do not wander in like desert dogs. Come, that is pissing me off. Um, okay, so... Yes. Yes. Oh, let's go on. Let's end the turn. So, which faction are you playing if you're fighting Persians but not Persia? I am playing as a White Hunts. White Hunts are basically... The... Not exactly the sure. They're, they're white hunts. <laughs> but they came from the north of Iran. Yeah, they were called white hunts because they were kind of similar to the to the hunts. Um, yeah, they came from the sleep, people that came from the sleeps with like, they were horse archers and shit. I mean, even the Seljuks were like, no, 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 Seljuks were not horse archers. Parthians, what were, were they had like tons of horse archers though? In the same area. Actually, these guys come from further east. Houdinians. Oh, that was one of the haunted factions that got destroyed. Yeah, the Kree. The Kree. I uh, kind of like Mongols, but because they have like similar um, military tactics, I guess. For battle. Caucasian Mountain. Do you, I'm not exactly sure if the Caucasian Mount. 
so this is the Caucasian mountains, mountains right? No, they come from the east of the, uh, what is it, Cosp Caspian Sea? I think this is called Caspian Sea. Uh, yeah, they come from the east of Caspian Sea. And even east of this area, I guess. They start here, but I think they come from further east. From near India, I guess? I'm, again, not exactly sure. Assassinate this guy, 80% success chance. There we go, another success. It wasn't a critical success, but it was success, regardless. Yeah, I gotta fight this battle. Damn! Um, oh, that one of the. We take this settlement. Wait, is this guy going to join? Yeah, he's going to join actually. Uh, the okay, the horses are gonna be in land, but the rest of them are gonna come from the sea. Oh, we gotta keep our horses away from these artillery crew. Yeah, yeah, that's that's basically what I say. So, Caucasian mountains are, I showed Armenia, Georgia, like Azerbaijan. But again, these guys come from the east of that area. So, the actual Hans, like Attila the Hun, is from uh, Eastern Europe. Like, maybe Ukraine, Russia, like Western Russia, Southern Ukraine, maybe. Again, not exactly educate, that educated in this regard, but Mongolia, I, I guess from the, it's the west of Mongolia, not Mongolia itself, because these are different than uh, Mongols. These are Eastern Europeans. Those are, well, Mon Mongolia is actually in Asia, but like the Huns actually came from, maybe the White Huns are actually in Mongolia. Again, not exactly sure. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted. I don't know. I I just don't have that much information on it. Okay, go with flaming shots. We have sighted the enemy. Yeah, flaming shots is gonna wreck these cavalry units. Just gonna make sure I keep these guys out of harm's way. The horses and mainly the artillery crew. Mercenary Desert Raiders. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck! Move away, move away from the from the coast. Fuck that shit, bro. I ain't I'm sacrificing these guys. Have they killed anyone? Not yet. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna get them get them back there. Yeah, keep them out of the range of those those artillery crews, cause yeah, that's gonna do a lot of kills. We don't need to take the risk out of range. Yeah, they're kind of exhausted because of that precision shots. It was worth it. Did a bit of a damage. Well, it actually did a lot of damage. Oh shit, come on. Kill him. There we 
go over here wrecking them. We have gained coming the upper in. Hand. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me. Okay. Um. Decrease the sound a little. What the fuck? Okay, I'm like. This is not the sound I was playing the game on. And it wasn't. It was just too fucking loud. Okay, that's more like it. I thought there was my microphone getting fucked. Um, it was a game itself. 18 kills, come on, finish that guy off. It's an ambush! Enemy units have returned to the battle! Our piercing. Okay, enough, enough shooting, enough shooting, enough shooting. Stop wasting ammo. Alright, guys, get to them. We are out of range of that, eh? I think we are. The enemy general is dead. Oh, you motherfucker. Damn, 24 kills. Oh, I piece of shit. I'm going to get your ass. Yeah, just let them land. We're gonna shoot them as they're landing. Or no, no, no. We're not gonna shoot them as they're landing because they have the artillery crew. Okay, keep the Lord out of that. We don't want him to take any damage whatsoever. Um, go with heavy shots. Okay, put the ones that have more ammunition in the middle. Because the middle is going to get the most action, usually. Are these guys landing? Oh, they're stupid. Are they? Uh, are they even in range? Shit, they're in range. No, 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 no. Get the hell out of there. Uh, they have done a little bit of damage. It was... Yeah, this linger one did a lot of damage though. These Shapur the first Shah Shahvaras. What the hell is that? Is that the Lord? Oh, there we go. That's actually the Lord. This doesn't look like Persian. What the hell is this? <laughs> Armenian spears. I don't know why they make Persian like this. It's Persian, that is not have a look, but okay. has used all its ammunition get him out of there no 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 get out okay, these guys are out of ammo get him out of there yeah we should finish him off like this Get him out of there. Oh, 
Oh, okay, these guys are getting a lot more kills now. That's why I'm gonna come and come over here and burn them. Oh, damn you. Oh, these are also out of ammo. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> Oh no, the oh shit! 100 kills? Oh, it was on him, okay. 100 kills for him, not. Oh my god, I thought that guy did 100 kills. Okay, you guys go with flaming shots. Uh, we just gave them some free kills. That is... That was stupid. Okay, they're kind of close to getting... Losing everything. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. 400 losses. A little bit less than that, but... Yeah, 51 kills for this guy. Damn, that was... Yeah, his... Um, missile shots a little bit. Shouldn't have kept them this close. No, 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 get, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, they're gonna use their missile shots. Oh, two units, okay. That's, that's okay. Try to spread them a little bit. Uh, what the heck are they doing? <laughs> he don't shoot. Okay, you guys, you guys stop shooting. You guys that have ammo, stop shooting. Oh, there we go, armor losses. Oh, shit. Damn, we took a little bit more casualties than we actually needed to take, but it's... It is what it is. Sometimes... Fuck up happens. For 800 coins, that was definitely not worth thoughts? it. Um, okay. Now the question is, do these guys have more forces around? Gather intelligence. Um. Let's go with subterfuge, infiltrate. Let's put one more point into that. And also, what is that? Assassinate action plus 10% chance of killing target. All right, that's good. Scout ahead. Ready for, battle. Ready for battle. On the move, lads. Oh, this is not good. Okay, what level can we get them at? Level two. Um, I can afford to. Yeah, let's get rid of one of them. Get another one of these horses. Persian rebels. Yes. yes. Yeah, we can not resolve this one. Let's see how much money we're gonna sack. We're gonna get from sacking Sapahan, which is one of the best. D Damn! That's it? That is underwhelming as fuck. That is so shit. Uh, ooh. Ignore train, a raider, which is sit building the fire, cause more fire damage with torches and captures faster than other units. Okay. And guerrilla deployment, K2 
campaign stealth. Uh, oh, basically, they are invis not invisible, but uh, stalking units. Oh, that was the only unit we had. Those, maybe we have another one. Nope. Nope, we don't have any. Go with Carpenter's Yurt. At least we can get to sack two cities in the same turn. This guy's at 28 entities. I'm kind of afraid he's going to die. But yeah, let's auto resolve this. Imagine if he actually dies. 21 entities. Oh shit, that is close. 2k. Ready for battle. Come, sit. These guys are not leveling up. At this point, it's going to be a lot more harder to level up. 193. 17 more experience. Okay. 30 more experience for this guy. Quad be praised. How can I help? Uh, the good capture point is definitely good. Be How can I, help? I feel like keeping one of these just for the good capture point. Capture power. Um, What is that? Extra stats, I think? Encourage rapid advance. Boost the morale of other units position closer. Okay, yeah, that is straightforward. And Noble Akat Ziri. Anyways, I wanted to change. Yeah, I already did that. Okay. Ready for action. For the tribe. Uh, just wait for the six population surplus. We're going to get that in a couple turns. Okay, right now, I would want to go with the systematic ransacking. I know it's really expensive, but... Ooh, 8,100. That's the cheapest. For the tribe. Warriors all. Um, 225 more money. That is nothing. Heftalite chargers. I think we had some. We just disbanded those because they were really expensive. And they were not giving us the value we were expecting of them. Tax rate minus 5%. All horse. So basically, the more horse we have, the less money, the less tax we're going to make. All right, um, definitely upgrading this one. 400 extra income from that alone. Oh shit, my microphone got fucked again. Um, all right, so. Yeah, guys, it's around 9 p.m. Or, or, over here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed this one. I'll be honest with you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. Today, it was amazing. And tomorrow, we're going to give away five gifted memberships for our channel on YouTube. So if you want to have a chance of getting one, don't forget to uh, come on the stream. And like, I think I'm going to give it away like midway through the stream. So yeah, you guys have a wonderful one. I am going to see you guys tomorrow. Let's go find someone else to chuck a host to. Uh, you say the more... Wait, what? The m <laughs> I I don't know. I never said that, but okay. <laughs> um Okay, Human Boy Yes Yes is <clears throat> playing some tournament. Uh Warm 3 tournament and let's go say hi to him. And you guys have a good one. I'm gonna see you guys later. And yeah, bye bye.